we're back at it with some ooblets. I, I apologize. We aren't actually getting to do some VR today. I ran into some issues with uh, my streaming setup for it. It was my first time attempting to do so, and it turned out a little whack. So we'll be we'll be we'll be doing that plan again next week, and it'll be a little fun, I think. But until then, let's let's check in on our ooblets. It's been a couple days, and I am sure they miss us, cause I miss them. So we gonna we gonna get everything going here, and we're gonna make some carrot cakes, so we can go back to that sweet little island and get us some uh, of. Ooh, we got a lot of carrots grown today, uh, and and finish up that getting our oob net turned on, you know. So I'm gonna pick all these carrots first, though. I don't know if we have any seeds. Oh, we do. We bought a whole bunch of, uh, like, sun seeds and stuff from that weird mystery island. Sparkle flowers. That's what they are. We'll plant these guys up in here. Uh, I, I think we're going to need to water. I'm just waiting for the soil to slowly start expiring. And do we have anything other than the sparkle flowers? We do have one, one uh, stay soggy, which we'll drop on something before we leave. Not sure what, uh, oh, 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 it looks like we planted a whole bunch yet already. That's what the deal is. All right. Well, let's see here. We'll pick this. This guy's got six days. We'll drop a stay soggy on that so we don't have to worry about it. And, yep, just as, just as we thought, everything needs watered again because it's a dry season. We need another rainy day so we don't have to spend half our energy watering this giant army of crops we have created but what are we gonna do about it we could make more sprinklers but we also need a rainy day for that so i think we're just gonna have to live with it for now and just kind of keep getting these guys all wet by ourselves and and re-watering things that don't need watered but who cares we got to make sure they're extra moist you know Oh, what are you doing here, Ooblet? What are you doing? All right. I feel like we're getting real weedy lately, and I don't know what the deal with that is. I don't know if there's any sort of means to prevent the weeds, or if we're just kind of stuck with them. Uh, maybe maybe we'll eventually find a sort of, like, weed-be-gone uh, seed thing, like our, like our uh, Stay Soggy and Miracle Grow. Which, we might actually want to pick up some of that soon. Although, I'm more invested in spending our wishes on some of this other cool stuff. Like, even more oublets! But we can't right now. There's too many cuties and we don't have enough space. Uh, we are needing these recipes a lot, so we might want to just pick up those while we can. Or this... I don't know what our, our swooshler does. So, I think we're just going to leave that be. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's get, ooh, a bigger tool belt. I like that. Faster reconstutor. Uh, let's get oob coop level two, right? Start trying to upgrade our oob coops a bit so we don't have to worry about that. So we can carry more of our sweet little boys and girls with us. Because that's what we want. All right. We are going to be spending a, a hefty amount of time watering right now, though. And a lot of running back and forth. And we'll check real quick. What we need to upgrade this. What do we need? Uh, we need five cloth. We need an obsidian. Of course we need an obsidian. And we can assign two ooblets who will clear weeds, rocks, twigs, and water any crop. That's what we need. Screw sprinklers. We need to get us some more coops now. Uh, but we also need more obsidian. And that has been hard to come by lately. I don't know what its deal is, but... It just does not want to be be spawning up in here. The first few days, I ran into like three or four in a row. And now it's just been like one every four days, which has kind of sucked. But we can always buy some if we need to. I'm going to try to avoid watering these empty spaces. But there's so much in between them and what we have that it's going to be kind of hard to catch it all. I'm sure these spots are going to expire soon, but we'll just... We'll leave them be for now. I think we can hit those up later. And until then, let's make some cakes, right? I think we need some cakes. So, 
All right. Let's go. Well, we don't want to sleep yet. We want carrot cakes. We need muzzflower. Frubtus. What do we need for frubtus? Or is that just a... I think that's made from... Let's see. It's a recipe, I'm pretty sure. Frubtus. We need to we need to mill some sweet beeties. All right. I think we have some of those. We have a lot of carrots. We do have nine sweet beets here. And I think that's all that we have. But that should get us enough cakes for anything we need in the other zone. There was something else we had to come back with, wasn't there? Uh, I'm trying to remember. But I can't. I, I think we might just have to go and then come back later and see what it was we needed. The, the, the person with the next keypad needed something. And I can't... Oh, oh, he needed uh, coffee. We need to bring some coffee for him. That's right. All right. Uh, you probably have a lot of stuff lying around town. With a big enough farm and enough kooky machines from the mip Mippins, you'll be able to make pretty much anything you can imagine instead of buying it in shops. Oh, that's cool. I would like that. How do we get how do we get machines from the Mippins? I feel as though we might have to figure that out soon because maybe we'll be able to do our. Uh, uh, we might be able to, sorry, uh, hair distracted there. We might be able to get seeds and stuff from that. And if so, then we can stop buying so many. We're also going to do some cans today because they're getting a little out of hand. And we don't want that at all. Ooh, we have colored clicky claws up there. What did we need for those? What do we need for you, Clicky Claws? Oh, we need fruit tooth. We are gonna have that soon, so we can we can do these Clicky Claws. Yeah, I mean, we might we might end up just spending some time in town today. I feel like we've been neglecting our little home here, uh, in favor of our farm. So we might just have to catch up on everything here. Although there's not a lot, honestly. It seems like stuff has stopped spawning in shops as much. I do love a good conversation with churls. I can't stand how oobletts just put their bare bums directly on whatever they sit. It's true. Why don't we give them pants? Oobletts need pants. I mean, seriously. That's why he only lets pants of bears in his house. They're the only reasonable type of oublet. I bet they wear pants. You're one of the few people here I can tolerate. Aw, I love that. I love that, Churls. Sweet beady seeds, perfect. And the bean juice we needed. Oh, Churls, you're a hero. Now we don't even have to buy bean juice. That's perfect. All right. So Churls has has uh, made us rethink the way that we treat our ooblets and the fact that they need to have pants, right? It is a little nasty that we let them run around without pants. I'm sure they don't have the capacity to wipe their bottoms either. Oh, they definitely leave bumhole prints, without a doubt. I and I'm I wouldn't be surprised if some of these ooblets have some really weird uh, buttholes as well. Like this little sparky guy here. There is no way. There's no way this sweet little dude has like a normal shaped butt. It's got to look like a like a like a a nut or something, right? This is it's such a weird game, and I'm totally in love with it. It is easily one of like my favorite games of the year so far. Uh, it's it's so stupid and charming. And, like, the humor is just... I love Bunglebee's buns as much as the next person, but I think they'd be better to buy handmade treebies from a local baker. All the words are nonsense. A socket, yes, it's gotta be a socket. Thank you. That is, that is exactly the word I was looking for. Also, all the packaging they use can't be good for the environment. You're right. Fuck this guy. Ooh, we got a wishy. All right. Ooh, some scallops here. It's like, this game is like Stardew Valley meets Pokemon meets the sort of existential dread of living in the 21st century. Which is just everything we want out of video games right now. And we're getting some cans here, so we can get some more bait. What you got, Taffy? Be sweet to meet, Sticky. If that doesn't embody everything about life, just be sweet to meet, Sticky. Oh, <laughs> I love that Taffy just gave us 17 cans of trash. Like, what the fuck else would they give us, right? Oh, all right. We're going to make some more bait. 
see if we can't catch some stuff today. We also have to catch 10 things with seed anglers today, so it's actually perfect. And we're almost out of energy already. It's an exhausting day. I'm going to go see if we don't have enough to shake this tree, hopefully. And we'll talk to everyone on our way back. What you got? What is your actual job here anyways? Uh, I'm a farmer. I'm an ooblet dance trainer. I help Tinstall on town projects. I'm just doing my thing, dude. <laughs> like, aren't we fucking all? I mean, the reality is I'm just another corporate wage slave making a farm for... Yeah, well, I am a freeloader. They did give me it for free, so... Uh, but I, I did kind of sell myself to the town in exchange for property, which it does feel a little dirty, but on Frubal... On Frutal Cron 8, dancing is considered indecent, but it's not so bad, I guess. I, I'd i like to think dancing's kind of considered indecent here, too, right? It can't be, I mean, for the most part. It's, it's great self-expression, but also, it can get pretty buck wild, especially at, like, the wrong dances. You know? If it's like PDA for them... Then that kind of makes me rethink the whole oublet dance battles. Are we just like subtly making out with each other on the dance floor? That's a little awkward. I I don't know. I mean, I guess consenting oublets and all, right? I can't judge them, but it does seem a little like a little too open for my liking, you know. I, I put a fan near the window to blow the smell of freshly brewed bean juice around town to attract more customers. You. Disney manipulating monster. Uh, oh, man. See? And that's where the seeds... You get a seed after every dance battle. Holy shit, I think you're on to any something. We are... These oublets are making, like, psychic love with each other every time we dance and producing seeds so we can grow new ones. Holy shit. This is some nasty-ass stuff. We're, we're playing smut. Uh, you know how yawning is contagious, but I bet you didn't know that if other people don't yawn when you yawn, they secretly hate you. It means they're not enough paying pay they're not paying enough attention to your to your social cues. I presume you've got these. Oh no, I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're always rushing to get to the next place, you're never going to be where you want to be. Maybe I want to be rushing. Did you ever think about that, Taffy? Hmm. All right, we're gonna go take a quick nap because we're already beat, and we probably need to water half our plants again. Let's go see. It's going to be these ones down here. Let's find out. Yep. All right. We're going to nap and then spend the next half of our day watering plants. And then I think tomorrow we'll go back to the island, ride our hot air balloon again. Dun, 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 dun. I do really enjoy this mechanic that you can just nap and regen a little bit of your energy rather than ending the day like Stardew Valley. I always found that was a little, uh, it made, it made things feel a little rushed. Like if you played the game too much for the first half of the day, you just lost out on everything for the second half. All right. Let's water these. Uh, oh, we got a little rotten one over here. We'll get you. We'll, we'll spruce you right up there, spring bean. You'll be good as new before you know it. And we need more water already. Dun, dun. I'd like to find some obsidian, but I don't know. I wish there was a way to, like, force it to spawn. But that'd be cheating, and we're not cheaters. Dun, 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 dun. Uh -uh. I'm interested to see what these sparkle flowers grow into, though, and how much they're worth. They seem like a weird, exotic... Uh, plant from a faraway land, so I'd assume Mead would play, pay Primo for that, right? I don't know. I don't know her thoughts on uh, the current import-export of the world, and if she is for or against it. But as as a, an old entrepreneur, you would hope, right, that she'd be willing to expand her business. Oh, we keep getting weeds on everything. I don't like that. All right. I do think we should upgrade our watering can soon because it is a little tedious right now. But also, it feels like there's better things we could spend our money on. Like a larger fanny pack. That might not be a bad investment, honestly. 
our inventory has been getting a little hard to manage and buying another chest is probably going to be a little pricey now. So maybe that's the route to go. I don't know. We'll ponder it. We'll ponder it for the day being while we water these last two plants. And then we're going to have to sleep again. Yep, we're not going to make it through this day. We, we should do a pass up top, though, to make sure there's no obsidian. I doubt there will be, but it's worth a check, you know? We also have a couple folks we can talk to up there. And we should finish up our bait. We might as well get the points for that, right? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Take another nap. I think... I think we might switch back to the witch hat. You know, switch our fashions up a bit. We're, we're popping a little too much, you know? And we don't, we don't want to pop. We kind of want to blend in with the crowd right now. You know, we're not, we're not here to make any waves. We're not here to stir the pot. We're just here to do complex mathematical equations and be accused of being too smart because of it. You know, everyday problems. So we have, oh, we have our, oh, we, we, we should do these, these, uh, these here clicky claws. Get us a, get us a cute little variant. Uh, yeah, well, let's, let's bring our cute little ice cream boy in. All right. Let's make sweet, sweet love on the dance floor. Uh, we have five points. We'll earn, se uh, we'll do that and gain a couple hype. Dun, 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 dun. I like these guys too. Oh, there's there's so many cuties right now that we gotta catch, but we still need more oublet room. I also think we can. It is right. <laughs> it's it's fucking wild. Uh, we can steal six points. They don't even have six points though. We'll gain a beat first for sure. It's like Pokemon, but we just dance instead. And that's just, you know, now that you've given some other connotation to the dancing in this game, it's it's a little rough. Uh, oh, we can gain another beat. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere. We're gonna steal six points, I guess. Uh, we don't really have a reason to stun them. I don't think their makeup's very good, so. Uh, but we don't have four now, that's unfortunate. They're gonna steal from us, but it's fine. They're they're so far away. Dun, 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 All right, uh, steal 17. Po I don't think we need to worry about that. If we do this, then we can pop that in in three turns. But I think we can just rush to the end, right? I don't think we really need to let them get closer to us. We can just do this guy here, and then pop this one and next turn we should be able to get nine points pretty easy oh unless they steal six i don't think we're getting 15 maybe we should have stunned them that's a rough one i do and i do love that almost everyone in the background is just like shaking their ass at you constantly uh we're gonna gain a hype dun, 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 dun. Uh, we're going to gain 10 points and 2 hype. Yes, please. We might actually get there still. Yeah, we did. And now, now that the love ritual has been complete, Clicky Claws, present us with your seed, please. Dun, 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 dun. I'm assuming 10 is probably going to be the level cap. But I don't know for sure. It, it might be infinite, but it doesn't feel like there'd be any reason to make it infinite. They're not really gaining much by leveling up after five. So, uh, yes, Clicky Claws. I'd love your seed. Dun, 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 dun. Look how angry he looks. And that's just the way he looks all the time. All right. I just, I wish I could hug him. I mean, I could pet him, but I, I didn't. So, I guess that's on me. They've been concerned about Milu, 
but I just say it's a kid, give him some time to grow up. There's a saying that goes, time will wear away the stone. The stone in this case is a snot-nosed brat. You know, maybe society just doesn't understand him. Maybe, maybe he's not the problem, but he's growing up in a world that he sees a lot of issues in and nothing is changing, you know? Maybe he just wants to fix things, but everyone constantly tells him that he's at fault for trying to fix them. And so he just lacks, you know, lashes out and gets upset. Who knows? I'm not a psychologist, uh, but that's, that's just a guess, you know? Uh, and also, I feel trapped in these bushes. All right, there we go. Oh, my pockets are filled to the tippy top. That's unfortunate. We don't really need those mushrooms, though. We're more invested in uh, uh, obsidian right now. That's kind of our... Just like Lil Peep. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we're more invested in obsidian. We we need that real bad. I wish there was... I wish we could grow it. That'd be very nice. What kind of music people listen to when I... Ah, uh, mostly just ska. That's it. Oh, oh wait, Elevator and Muzak. You know? Elevator is a good genre. I, I've always been a fan of that kind of, like, boppy one that, you know... I think it really speaks to our culture. Oh boy, I was going to have to introduce you to oob music. My favorite is the band Hype Force Clamp Curve. Okay. Uh, e elixir to prevent your sweatshirt sleeves from bunching up inside your coat sleeves. See, people would pay good money for that. I mean, also, a safety pin would do that. But, I mean, a magic potion just seems much more efficient, right? Who needs safety pins? Like, odds are it's going to unbunch at some point and stab you and then... Just gonna be super uncomfortable. No one wants to bleed on their new sweater. That's just sad. All right. I think we've pretty much talked to everyone. We have a uh, we don't have a lot of time. Hmm. We might be able to book it through the island and grab a couple of things real quick. Should we go for it? Ah, it's tricky. Let's go for it. Why not? Worst comes to worst, we just have to come right back, right? Boom, boom, boom. We're going to Mamonia. I do love that their primary form of transportation is hot air balloon. Not like car or walking or boat or plane. Just hot air balloon. The single hot air balloon in town. It, it feels wholesome, you know? Probably a lot... I, Hmm, that raises the question. Are hot air balloons environmentally friendly? I mean, definitely more environmentally friendly than some forms of transportation, right? Without it. Oh, these guys are cute. Oh, all right, all right. No, we're going to dance. Come here. Come here, cuties. Look at these. Look at these big ass foreheads on these stupid hairy penguins. It's like. It's literally like Danny DeVito made love to a penguin and created this weird monstrosity, and I want one. Like, come on. The forehead's a little big for DeVito, honestly, but... It's still... Alright, increase your opponent's beats by one. Mm, yeah, we'll gain a hype and then increase their beat cost. Because who knows what these little DeVitos can do. I do like these ones in the backgrounds all wearing sunglasses. I, that is a look for them. Dun, 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 dun. Earn three points. Lose ten points, gain three beats. Wow. That's a heck of a move. Lose. So they're all about losing points to gain advantage. That's interesting. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to first do this because that'll bump the cost up to one if we don't do it now. So then we'll do this, and we should be able to just run out our hand. Dun, 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 dun. Bump up the cost of their stuff again. And then pop these couple of things. Get us a couple points on the scoreboard, right? Now we pass to them. And they're doing it again, losing a bunch of points. See, it doesn't seem like they have any means to actually really gain points. So all they're doing is just hurting themselves. All right, uh, lower all your team's future warm-ups. All right, we're going to gain a hype, and then we're going to gain a couple more hype, and then we're going to add some fluster to them, and then we're going to gain some free points. 
gonna be a it's gonna be a little bit drawn out of a fight, but I think we're fine. They're just losing points left and right, and I eventually we'll be able to just price them out of the game. I don't think they have any way to actually gain points. It's kind of funny, all uh, the poor people. That kind of sucks, but what can you do? All right, we're gonna yeah, we might as well pop this. And we'll gain a hype before we do anything else. And then we'll gain five points. And we'll add a fluster. And yet now, even if they could get points, they're eventually just going to be like flustered out of the game too. But yeah, I, I honestly don't think they have. Wow, so the fluster adds on to your loss of beats as well. That's rough. Earn zero. Yep. <laughs> the only thing they'd have to give them points right now nets them zero. Uh, who was that old guy who did news and wore overalls all the time? He has super big glasses and looks like that bird thing? Um, I, I don't know who you're talking about at all. An old dude that did news. I, I, I have no clue. I could... I could secretly google it but then i i might leave you guys larry king oh fuck you're right he does look like larry king <laughs> that's so good Maybe a little, like, Chevy Chase in there, too. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, give me your sweet little Hermble seat. They're called Hermbles? All right, great job, little Hermble. What a, what a name for these things, Hermble. All right. Uh... What are these ones? Oh, shoot. Can we dance with everything we find on this island? Do we have time for that? I don't know if we do, but look at him. It's a cute little robot dude. We gotta have a cute little robot dude for our robot friend already. Ooh, this, this beats fresh. All right. All right. I'm feeling it. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just go for the Zerg. As many points as we can as quick as possible. Let's not fuck with their game plan. They've got they've got a dumb Hermble on their team. It's just gonna drain all their points. Uh, Hermbles kind of remind me of uh, the mages in Smash Up. They they have all these like just like normally really bad moves, but I'm assuming if you have the right makeup, it becomes super busted. And I could only imagine that, like, under the guise of, like, a good player, you could probably make a Hermble group team last, like, ages. <laughs> You're right. I hadn't even noticed that. Oh, my God. It's like, it, I feel that in my soul. Like, high school prom after, like, 1 o'clock in the morning and everyone's still going as if they're all strung out on coke and you're just ready to go home. I don't know. Maybe that was just me. Maybe that was my own experience with prom. But it feels it it feels right. Or it's like 2 in the morning at your friend's party and everyone's still going and you're just you're you're trying to keep your spirits up, but inside you just want to go to bed. Dun, 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 dun. All right, uh, gain a hype, steal six points. I think we can perform everything right now. Why not do it all? Oh, cool. Hype affects how much we steal, too. I just noticed that. <laughs> exactly. Like, you're already crashing, but you know you need to keep your energy up, so you, you double dose. 
because you don't want to be the first one to leave. Like, everyone pla is planning to go to IHOP afterwards, and, like, you can't be the one to quit. Add three trepidation. I don't want your trepidation. They are pretty much uh, locked out of earning points, so that's nice. We're going to drop our cost of things. Alright, easy win. Now we've got one of these cute little robots. What do you think? Let's put bets on its name. Uh, uh, Borg, Borg, Borg Bot. Borg, that, that I don't think that's right. Um, B Borgius. No, they already have the plant that's named close to that. Uh, Cy, Cyclor. Fer, Fermo, I was nowhere near it. Okay. Alright. You know... I thought they'd really lean on the whole, like, Cyclops one-eye thing, but I guess they're more creative than I am. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, see? It, I, 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 he didn't look like he started with an F to me. Alright. Uh, so this is... Oh, no. I'm getting drowsy. I, I at least want to get past this person up here who require Oh, are these a variant? Do I have enough to fight them? Yes, we do. All right. F oh, fuse makes a lot of sense. I could see that. All right. Your your logic checks out. All right. We're going to get we're going to get us a yellow one of these dudes. All right. Uh all your moves cost 1 beat, so we'll gain a beat and then I think we can cast everything. I could see, like, Fuse Org. Uh, although, it doesn't really matter. We only, we're only interested in casting, like, one of these abilities. Dum, dum. Well, we will steal 16 points after four turns. So, maybe we can just let them run wild and win the game in four turns. Let's see. Let's see if we can race it. Win the... Oh, man. Okay. So, these, these guys steal... Earn three points and gain a beat. All right. That's a good move for zero. All right, all right. Uh, backwards limbo. Why can't I cast this? Lower your team's fuse by... Ooblet is busy. Oh, because he's charging already. That's good to know. If they're charging, they can't uh, perform another ability. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, I don't have enough beats for that now. I was not even paying attention. I should have done that first, but... We'll just we'll just let them keep riding it. I think I think we'll be able to steal all their points and claim the victory pretty easy. I'm not too worried here. I I've yet to find a fight that I was like there's been a couple that it was like if that went on for one more turn I probably would have lost. But nothing too crazy that I felt behind. Negative one? What does that even mean? Do you get a beat for casting that spell? Okay, these guys have some buckwild stuff. All right, we're going to have to stun one of these. I don't think we're going to be able to live through letting them just, like, run rampant here. I, we'll, we'll definitely catch up once we steal our beats, but we're kind of way behind already. Dun, 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 dun. That negative one is me lower your moves cost by one beat. Okay, that's how they did it. Gotcha. I would love to have that ability. I, I wish I could track... I, I didn't catch if that gave them an extra beat. Man, they are still just flying through. And they're stealing... Set. Oh my gosh. You know, I was just saying I didn't think I was ever going to lose a fight in this? Holy crap. Um, We still have one more turn before we get to steal, too. This is... I think they're going to win... I don't think we have to steal points, but we don't have any means to. So hopefully this adds one to our hand. And no, we just gained an extra beat. Okay. So what's our best play here? We can copy a move twice. If we do that, that gives us two beats. We've flown too close to the sun. We were banking it all on that steal and it didn't work. It didn't work at all. This is why we don't change our mechanics. We, we knew the meta. Oh, we should have hyped first. And we teched for it, but 
We just, we, it was a major oversight on our part. We got sloppy and misplayed. Who knows? Maybe they'll just uh, pass the turn to us without doing anything this next turn, right? It's possible. Perhaps. I wasn't expecting this, like, combo machine of death. Lower your move cost by one beat, and then they're just going to rack it up. There it is. I have never lost a battle yet. I don't know what's going to happen. Do I have to give over my seed? Okay. We gain less experience. And I'm assuming we just lose the mats that it took us to get into the fight, right? Other than that, I doubt much is going to happen. Maybe, uh... Oh, is this how you end up under the ground? Is this why everyone's dead in this town? No, okay. You know, who knew? All right, well, we have this this lovely fight. Oh, it's ten bean juices we need. Dang it, we only brought four. Churls, you let us down. Well, let's head back and get some sleep. Uh, we're probably going to be drowsy tomorrow. I don't think we're making it back in time. But it was worth it to lose our first battle. You know? It was a, uh, a, a very joyous occasion. It was fun watching them operate, like, with a squad of those. That's pretty insane how quick they racked up points. I feel like it wouldn't be bad to have a whole team of that on my side, you know? All right, let's hop in our hot air balloon and then go get some rest. It was a very unproductive day, it feels like, but we did... We... We... we chilled a little bit you know we didn't find another one of those cute little cactus folks uh i like that this 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 person is just up here dancing oh we're up late yep dang oh it's also raining that's good news we might be able to find some raindrops we we barely missed our timer for bed though unfortunately i guess we're gonna find out what drowsy does now too Look at this. All right. I did do good. I will never get tired of being told I did good at something, even if it is artificially by a video game, you know? You overslept, you'll be a bit groggy today. It doesn't look like it affected our energy too much. And it is raining, so we don't have to take care of our farm, which is great. We should probably check for weeds still, but uh, we'll let we'll let just the external forces handle that. Uh, what do you got today, Mead? We should also be keeping an eye out for the clothlets to go on sale. If you dig up anything questionable in the ground at your farm, come see me first. See, she is into some shady ass shit. I, she has buried bodies under our farm. She's already asked if we would rat her out to the authorities about things. And now she's furthering this implication that there are dead people underneath our farm that she apparently put there. And she wants us to be complicit in this crime. And I mean, I'm all for it, right? Like, we, we are accomplices at this point. I'm not going to rat you out. Don't worry, Mead. As long as you give me a good deal on your seeds, like, I think we're Gucci. All right. We're going to grab the scallop. But it does make me want to dig. I mean... It does make me want to dig down there and see what it is. There are skeletons in her closet. And she's buried those skeletons under my farm. Uh, our inventory is full, so we're... Oh, we forgot to do our bait, too. Wow, we dropped the ball yesterday. We have a ton of cans to process still. Uh, we're going to throw a sweet bead in here just because... I don't feel like going back to my farm to pick up this. My pockets are not full. I just, oh no. I put the bait in there and that took up the slot. And so now we got to go back to the farm anyways. Well, all right. Uh, what do you have to say, Mayor Tinstals? The Badge Town Historical Society only has one member and it's Zuffel. Yeah, we know that. He's very open about it. All right. What do you got for us, Sprin? 
Uh, what does Polt even... S where does Polt even sleep? Does he sleep? Which one is Polt? Who is Polt? I don't remember. I, I don't think they're a major character that we've interacted with much. I don't think they're one that we can become friends with, it doesn't seem. They're definitely no churls, that's for sure. To be honest, I the only time I'm relaxed is when I'm lost concent in concentration designing new pieces for Kibonbon. That was uneventful. Churls. I mean... Okay, you're an artist. We get it. Alright, we just bought a bigger bag because fuck going back to our farm. I, I hope that's the right solution. Uh, wait. How do I... There. Wear it. Boom. Now we've got more storage space. How much more? I couldn't tell you. Uh, with two extra... Okay, we got an extra row of slots. That's enough to get our raindrop here. And we got some more cans. Gotta keep our town spiff and span, you know? We, we are environmentally conscious here. We don't want no trash on the floor. Alright. We do, however, still want some obsidian. We also have some colored caterpillars here. Ooh, saucy. And we have the bean juice to dance with them. Oh, let's get these cute little guys. What was what was the name of that uh, the, the fucking caterpillar from Bug's Life? I, I can't remember his name for the life of me. But that these guys remind me so much of him. And, and I can't remember his name. And I feel like a terrible individual because of that. Was it... Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, all I can remember is the, the... I'm a beautiful butterfly. That's it. That's all I remember about him. What, what were the names of any of the characters in Bug's Life? I can't remember any of them. Like, not even the ant. Was it... I feel they were definitely like mostly people names, right? Man, apparently I need to rewatch Bugs Life. I I feel like I'm gonna like, y you know, when you go back and watch old stuff and you just you're you're absolutely sure you're gonna get Mand Mandala affected on something, so you just kind of like leave it be. I feel like that's gonna happen. I feel like if I watch that show. Something's gonna happen that I, I know for sure wasn't in that show or or happened in that show. <gasps> Heimlich! Yes! Okay, they do have names. Good. I Once I catch this green one and we grow him, I'm going to name him Heimlich in honor of the late Heimlich. Alright, uh, we do want all our beats to cost one this turn. See, this feels like a much more docile, uh, doable fight, right? Dun, dun. Flick was the ant. That's right. Okay. It's 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 not really coming back to me, but these do sound correct. So I do I do want to check that movie out again, though. I I I, I do keep seeing the memes about the. The grasshoppers, uh... <laughs> See, I don't have the luxury of Google right now. I'm supposed to be entertaining, unfortunately. I, Google is my crutch for everything in life, so I'd normally just reside myself to not actually knowing anything and just being really good and quick at Googling it. But in moments like this, it really shines that I am actually just an idiot who knows how to use Google, so... I've been told it's rude to wear noise-canceling headphones in social settings. But who's the, ultimately the arbiter of rudeness? Fucking great question, Basil. I mean, society, right? They're the ones who dictate what's rude and what's not. And I guess, like, the predominant people of... I still haven't worked out how Ubens become friends with each other. We know how they make love. That's as much as we know. Oh, sweet. We're going to get another friendship sticker. Vidion gave us some real sweet goods last time. Let's see what he's got for us this time. Goodies. All right, floaty seeds, nothing exciting. All right, all right, you've 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 lost some favor, Vidion. We'll, we'll forgive you this time. And we also, should we check out hairstyles real quick? 
we've gotten a lot of hairstyles so let's see what we got oh we've got some cool ones now this is not a hairstyle is it correct me if these these are not hairstyles these are pieces of clothing that are wrapped around our head it, it feels interesting to call them hairstyles but like is it wrong or is it right I do we buy one I do like the yellow one it kind of pops let's see let's see what it looks like we're gonna we're gonna find out real quick if this is a hairstyle or not uh, so it it this is this is a head accessory when we switch our head accessories, it does take it off as well. So this isn't like, you know, you know, you know, I can't, I can't get on board with this. I think we're just going to go with this, this hairstyle. We're mixing it up. Uh, we do, wait, does the hat have its own hairstyle? The hat absolutely has its own hairstyle. All the hats do. Whoa, okay. How did I not notice the pigtails? That's fucking whack. So if we want to rep this 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 middle-aged balding man look, we can't wear a hat. That's so disappointing. I wanted ugh, All right. Well, we've now spent 36 gummies on hairstyles we'll never use, but we know I wish I had cuter handwriting, but it always comes out looking like it was written by a three-year-old during an earthquake. Me too, Melda. And I have no idea how to improve it. People say if you just sit down and write a whole bunch, your handwriting will get better. But I've been doing that for 26 years and nothing has changed. Gossip seems to concentrate itself around me. Part patron barista confidentiality and all that. I've got friendship stickers and some free drinks for my favorite customers. Yay! Give us tin bean juice. No, we don't want your spressy. Fuck. All right. We need to buy some bean juice still. How much do we need? Uh, we need nine now because we spent some catching some folks. And we're broke. We are too broke to afford bean juice. It's official. We are a college kid. All right. Collecting some cans. And then, I haven't taken a check in these baskets in a hot minute to see if we've got anything or what we need. Our lists are all right here. We should be able to make our carrot cakes, and then that'll finish up front buns, which isn't bad. We do have these now. We're just missing the obsidian. All right. Uh, here we need hot dops and frub toast. We have the frub toast. We'll put those in. Uh, and I believe we can make the hop dops as well. So we should be able to finish up our, our forgiveness basket as well. I used to run a really popular review site on the Oobnet back when I need to get rid of this friendship sticker. And here's some other stuff. We get <gasps> bean juice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Eight of it. Hell fucking yes, Milu. Shout out. Jesus, you're my hero. Providing the people with what they need. All right. Uh, let's go see if there's any more. Ooh, rain. Ooh, we got a lot of raindrops. Not that I really want to make sprinklers. I'd rather be making upgraded uh, houses. But, you know, uh, we we don't quite have the cloth let for that. So we'll just ignore it for now. We we will have the mats to make a few more sprinklers. So I think even though the, the houses do seem like a better long-term investment, the sprinklers will definitely be good for now. I'd really love to learn the history about Badge Town and Oob in general. But I hate reading. You know, I feel that too. We need more uh, interactive forms of education, like video games and movies that teach history. Because I feel like there's a lot more benefit in, in being sort of taught it than having to read it, you know? Who knows? Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong on that. What do you think? Do you how how do you like to consume your history? Dun, 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 dun. All right, we're gonna grab these little guys here. We got a lot in this house today. And what else do we need for the barn? Is that what we just need the carrot cakes for? I don't think so. I think we need obsidian. Of course we need obsidian. 
We need obsidian for everything right now. All right. Uh, what do we need for low quality? <laughs> that is 100% the way to go, honestly. I can't believe I didn't fucking shout that out to begin with. Uh, let's be real, honestly. Like, I, I do. There's something really charming about low quality YouTube videos. It's like raw, just sort of desire to produce. And they're terrible, usually 90% of the time, but they have so much more, like, passion than you see in anything with, like, quality of studio. There gets to a certain point where it becomes dehumanized in the sort of level of production. And I, there's something so charming about just, like, we're, we're two people who have no fucking clue what we're doing, but we got a hold of a camera. So here you go, world. Enjoy our... Low, our zero budget re replica of Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. I just wanted to say, don't go nuts stressing out about building your oublet farm, farm and oublet empire. Just have fun with it and take your time. No. I desire world domination and I desire it now. I don't want to have to wait. Ugh. I'm insulted that you'd even say such a thing. Uh, but in reality, yeah, we, we are going to take our time with it. We're in no rush. Our oublets are are here. Ooh, oh no, that's just the the little spore thingies. Our oublets are here to to help us grow and learn, and teach us things about the world. And that's what we're in this for. I do feel like I'm learning a lot about the world from this game. Mostly the dark realities of it. Never start a farm. We need a lot of nernies. Okay. Let's go get some nernies. We can get those really easy. I still don't know what the radius on the good sprinkler is going to be, but it is our, our max best, number one best sprinkler we can make, so we're going to see, that's for sure. All right. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Ooh, we have mail. Mead has a hankering for long globs. What are even, have we found long globs yet? I don't think we ran into long globs. Uh, we do, however, need nernies. So we're going to break a bunch of rocks. I I do love the word nerny. Uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a sort of play on some sort of real world. But it's a fun word. Oh, I need a nap. We went too hard on the nernies. I, I don't know how many mats we have for good sprinklers right now. Let's see. How much nernies do we need? 15 per, we have three rain, we can make them, for, so we need 45 nernies, which just means we need a few more. We're almost there. And then we'll have three more sprinklers, which will save us a shit ton of time in the morning, which is very nice. Fucking nerny, right? <laughs> uh, what do we have in here? We don't have any nernies in here, unfortunately. We do have a ton of hop dops, though, and we need a lot of those for things right now. And we need to make some karut cakes. Uh, I cannot forget to make some of those before we leave because we need to bring those to our forgiveness basket. We need, let's see, hop dops in total. Uh, we haven't given anything to mutbins, mitbins yet. We need 20 nernies and 6 sprockets. Oh, yes, we have. We just need the obsidian left. I, I don't know why those aren't green. They should be green. That's odd. Uh, we do need 3 hop dops for the gift basket. Okay. Uh <laughs> yeah, it's a terrible fucking bed. I I wish I could upgrade it, but there's no... I haven't found an upgradable bed yet. And that would be so fucking dope if there was, like, a bed that would give me some sort of well-rested be benefit. Uh, I have no space. Okay, we're just going to try to throw shit in here and see what sticks. Because we already have things in there that, that match it. And the, the answer looks to be literally none of this stuff. Okay. Uh... That's kind of rough. What about in this little suitcase? Oh, we have Nernies galore. We don't need more. Okay. Look at that. We do have recipe paper in here, too. We can huck our... Oh, that's enough to make a thing. Let's make a thing. Uh, all right. Spressy. Okay. You know, I tried to order Casper, but they don't deliver here, unfortunately. Uh, I'm out of the area code of delivery. It's real sad. I wanted to do a whole unboxing video of it, but 
They said, uh, we cannot deliver to virtual spaces, and they were a little weirded out that I asked them to to begin with. Uh, and I, these spring beans look like they're done, but I can't harvest them yet. That one's done. Oh, but my pockets are full. I was just about to put other things in here. You know, maybe, uh, maybe purple will deliver. Yeah! <laughs> I said that right as your fucking chat popped up with it. Uh, maybe we can just get one of those, uh, sweet, like, Japanese Zin mats. Uh, I, I have I have long thought about switching to one of those in real life. I feel like just the floor space that it would save in general would be very nice, but it also feels like a recipe for disaster if you ever, like, invite someone over to cuddle. No one's going to want to cuddle on your floor mattress. Uh, I mean, even with a real mattress on the floor, they wouldn't want to. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe, maybe that's just me being too materialistic and not residing myself enough to the lifestyle I want to have. Maybe I should, like, draw a line in the sand and be like, this is me. And if you don't like laying on the hard floor, then maybe you're just not right for me. We got a badge. Another badge already. I better start sh sewing mo more. All right. Ooh, we got a ton of wishies. Can we spin anything good on those? Uh, we do have pennies level four. Ooblet, ooh, should we go for the oob coop level three? That might not be a bad idea. Just keep getting that oob coop upgraded. I don't know. What's what's your opinion? Oob coop level three maybe, or should we get some recipes? We're also gonna do another pass and see if any more raindrops have spawned, cause I would love a few more of those. Even though I think we would probably come pretty close to running out of the mats. Uh, we are full again, unfortunately. I wonder if there's going to be another fanny pack upgrade. But the fanny pack is a wearable item, so I highly doubt it. I thought it was going to be a flat upgrade to our storage space. But <laughs> you don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> you know, that's totally fair. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't either, if I'm being totally truthful. Uh, we're going to drop these bad boys in there. I'm hoping we find at least one more raindrop. But I doubt we're gonna. So we'll probably just have to have these three extra sprinklers and then drop those down. It might keep raining until tomorrow, which would be nice. The weather forecast does not seem to be changing, so maybe we'll get lucky and have two days of rain. Or maybe we won't. And we'll just have to get over it. I do need to drop these car roots off, though, and these carrot cakes. I do like how I called the same thing two different things in the same sentence. Uh, there's no consistency in which the way I speak, just so you know. But we do have this open now. I think you can finish it by tomorrow. Sweet. I don't know what these clubhouses are going to unlock for us. Uh, perhaps, like, ways to get more ooblets or joining their club. I don't want to talk to the cop. He's too far away. All right. Still need obsidian for that. That hasn't changed. Uh, we have, however, gotten our hobdogs for this. Boom. Yes. All right. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Uh, I knew, alright, here's hoping this gift basket is enough to make the Ooblet High Council reconsider. We haven't gotten another mysterious note on the bench in a hot minute either. So, that's an int- Get out of here, cop. Stop trying to make me talk to you. I can see you getting closer to me. Um, that is an interesting little, uh, thing there, is that, uh, you know, I lost my train of thought. It's hard to think. Uh, we will drop off our buns, though. And we don't really have enough time to go on a hot air balloon ride. So. Oh, we need a sprinklers. We can't forget to get our sprinklers tonight. That way we can throw them down next time it's not rain. <gasps> no! They're closed! I didn't know they closed! That's unfortunate. 
Well, now we know in the future, apparently, once we hit bedtime, stores close. That's a little, little sad, but... <laughs> I, I don't even know what it would be like after a dab. I can't even fucking imagine. Uh, I, I feel like this is kind of the perfect game to play high, though. It, it, it's just weird enough, but easy enough. There's not a lot of, like, thought that has to go into it. We do have mail. Uh, gastroglobe. I don't know. I, I still haven't figured out what any of that means. The oublet is doing something here. Uh, I do need to empty my pockets, though. And we're going to do so, and then go make our sprinklers first, because it's not raining today, unfortunately. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and to do that, we will huck a uh, flutie flowers in there. <laughs> yeah, the dance battles are so fucking cool. I'm, I'm very surprised at how much I've been enjoying that mechanic. I thought the dance battles were going to be a little uh, less exciting. It's, it's still in early access. Uh, it's only on the Epic Store right now. But I, I think for an early access game, it's, it's super fucking cool and has so much potential. They probably shouldn't have chosen a town historian who can't remember what he... Okay, hold up. They, they probably shouldn't have chosen a fucking town historian who can't remember what he ate for lunch earlier that day. The town historian is the cop. The only cop in town is also the town historian, and apparently can't remember what he ate for lunch? What kind of shit is this? I can't. I can't with this fucking cop. He, he's, he's very good-hearted, and, like, he doesn't seem like a bad dude, but he, by all accounts, he's incompetent as hell, and that is not the person I would want enforcing my laws. It's insane. And, you know, this game was developed before all the fucking, uh, uh, police brutality and shit that came out this year. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know if they wrote a cop character in after all of it happened, but I highly doubt that. They were just very aware of the situation when they were making this game. Do I ever get homesick? Not really. Does that make me a bad person? No. I suppose it means you're a forward thinker. Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, what you got for us? Now that's a backpacking pack. Uh, I think he's referring to our fanny pack. Uh, I could be wrong, but it, it does feel like he's referring to our, ba our, our fanny pack. And I would be inclined to agree with that statement. Uh, we are going to dump a lot more cans in here and just keep making some bait. And we need to talk to two more townsfolk, earn a friendship sticker... And break three rocks. Those are all easy enough. We already have our uncommon clicky clack, so we don't need them. Back when we had access to Oobnet, I made a point to comment on as many things as I could. And now, without it, there are to provide counter arguments and criticisms to everyone's posts. I fear the townspeople's confidence is getting out of hand. That's why I do it too, Basil. You gotta keep them in check. Gotta keep those egos deflated by providing two pages of. Uh, scientific evidence on how someone's opinion is wrong on social media. Uh, Alright, cop. What do you have to say today? No, we don't want to dance. We want to talk to the pig. Uh, can't talk. I'm investigating my first serious cr Oh my god! Of course the crime you're investigating is that someone has stolen the keys of the officer. Well. So... I mean, on the bright side, crime rates seem to be really low in this town. But, you know, they also seem to have really good access to, uh, you know, housing and, and jobs. And the society in general doesn't seem to put a lot of pressure on people to, like, succeed or fail. Putting pompadant juice in bean juice is not the same as Spressy. Oh, is it not? Fuck. What's the recipe for Spressy? I really hope it's just pompadant juice and bean juice. Uh... Espressi is... Oh, no. It's ground spring beans and fruitus. Damn. I was really hoping that was going to be the recipe. 
it, it would have been very good. Because then it would have implied that, like, we can never make real Spressy even if we have the ingredients. Because what we believe to be the ingredients aren't actually correct. But that does feel a little, a little maybe too meta. Not that this game has been shying away from any sort of meta narrative. I've watched hundreds of hours of Ooblet dance-offs. I guess you could say I'm an expert on them. Okay, Milu. Uh, how are people so good at talking to other people, Padrig? Yeah, that's a great fucking question. Talking to people always feels like I'm up on a stage doing a recital and I've forgotten all my lines. It is. It's fucking weird. Conversations are fucking hard. I don't... I think we, we put way too much pressure on conversations. This game is so... Ooh, we do have a larger pa fanny pack. Uh, this game is so good at, like, pointing out sort of, like, real-world commentary. I really wish my ooblets didn't stay up watching me while I sleep each night. Fuck, I never thought of that. I thought they were greeting me at the bed when I woke up. I didn't realize they were fucking watching me sleep the whole time. Fuck! I've gotta stop talking to churls! He fucking changes my world every conversation we have. That's terrifying. They're just watching me sleep? What are they... What do they want from me? I mean, they are kind of mindless. They do just follow me around the whole time. So hopefully it's not like... Malintent. You're already reinvigorating this little town. Everyone seems to be walking with a bit more pep in this step. Oh, thanks, Mead. I'm doing my best. All right. Uh, ooh, Taffy. What do you have to say, Taffy? I love our conversations. Gooby Gabu, Gooby Gabu. Love it. That is all we need to say about the world. Gooby Gabu, Gooby Gabu, indeed. People who act like they don't understand young people just aren't putting in any effort. Fucking yes. It's not fucking hard. Just, like, have a conversation with them. I, I feel like I'm getting real riled up today. Uh... We're we're in a we're in a mood it seems. Let's 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 take it back down to earth. But they're they're bringing up such good points. I heard Hype Force Clamp Curve did a show on the summit of Mount Tippito once. It was so cold and snowy they lost their bassist. She became a oh oh, <laughs> wow. Aro really had me going on a ride there. Okay, I I thought that their bassist had died, but I guess just decided to chase their other passions. Ooh, we have a Weech Top now, which is the same one I believe we already own. That's unfortunate. It's also good to know that we will be rewarded with things we can purchase in the game. So perhaps we should avoid purchasing things until we've been awarded them all. I don't know. That seems like a bad idea. I highly doubt there's any sort of, like, real predictability to what they're going to give us. So I think if... There's things we want. We should still buy them. Uh, I did just yawn, so I hope all of you watching yawned as well. Otherwise, fuck you guys. Why don't you like me? Uh, I don't know if we have anything to scan right now. Oh, we do. Cool. Oh, our cute boy. Yeah, get in there. Get in there, Peter Porker. Give me some free gummies for that. What else do we have to scan? Okay, him. Let's get a scan. All done. Uh, I Once we get more space, we have like three uncommons we'll be able to bring back here. Uh, sure thing. We need three bumble... Ugh, this guy wants more buns? Alright. I'm, I'm starting to suspect he's just using me for free food. If so, that's a little sad. Ara said she'd put some fan art in her next zine. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, I thought we already finished the tomorrow. That's unfortunate. I want some fan art in a zine. Uh, and where's our bun boy? We do need some buns. Uh, where? Ooh, is this the variant? We need... Oh, I don't think we have sweet beets. That's unfortunate. Bun boy. Uh, I believe we needed three. My pockets are full. Never mind. This inventory space is getting real troublesome. I think we might have to get some money to buy some more storage space. Because we are just, like, dead out. Uh, I guess we could sell some things, right? 
What can we sell? Let's just go sell a bunch of stuff. And then we should harvest a bunch too. We also probably need to water our plants today. And we do have three sprinklers we can put down. Ugh, I feel overwhelmed with all the stuff we can do right now. All right. We'll sell these crumb berries. We'll sell... We don't really need any of our little mushrooms here. We'll get rid of all these. Uh, we do want our muds still. We don't need sea lops. We also don't need these gastro globs. Perfect. Let's go see what we can pop open. Bum, 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 bum. All right. We got a lot we can pick right now. And I don't think we need any spring beans, so we can probably sell all these. Uh, and hopefully we have uh, some spaces that we can put our sprinklers in. Cool, our ooblet left that. Another clothlet, that's good. We need a few more of those. All right. A lot of sweet beaties. Oh, that means we can get that variant. Yes, perfect. We are on track to, to rule the ooblet world. Dun, dun. All we need is obsidian, which, I mean, maybe that's the better investment right now. Since we need so much of it, we should be buying obsidian rather than upgrades. I, I think that might be the play. Because we literally need, what, uh, one, two, and then eight more to create more uh, oublet coops. And more for upgrading them. So we need at least at least two for our missions. And way more for our oublets. Did these stop rotting? That's interesting. I find that odd. Oh, maybe because it rained. Does the rain stop things from rotting? That's a neat little feature. It doesn't look like anything needs watered yet. Maybe because it rained until the end of last night. We do have a bit of space for our sprinklers, though. Ooh, okay, that's a hefty square. All right, all right, all right. Now we're talking. So we can go. Uh, that's all going to get watered once that gets planted. So we can go here. Oh, we do need to until the sand. And we'll go here. And then that goes down to there. So here for the next one. Uh, right there, right? Is that right? Right there. Perfect. Boom. Is that? Okay. And so our last one then can go here. How did that work out so perfectly? Wow. We're not going to get a lot of these already done spaces watered, but now we can just shift our, our farm over to the right a little bit, and that will provide us with a little more uh, free watering spaces. We're going to let everything that we have now currently just grow and not plant anything more, I think, just so we can do a little bit of farm management. We'll probably end up moving these. I bet if we tiled everything out, it'd probably work perfect for either all good sprinklers or good spring, be the best sprinklers and then a good sprinkler at the end there. I could count the tiles out right now and figure it out. Eventually, all these little sprinklers, though, are going to be replaced with coops. And eventually, all of our sprinklers in general will probably be replaced with coops. Just because sprinklers don't let us have more oublets, but coops do, so... Feels a little unfair there. And eventually our coops can water for us, so... Who even needs sprinklers? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we are gonna have to spend, like, the rest of our day watering, though. <laughs> the rainy days are the best days. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we do have a farta choke there. Wait, are they called farta chokes? We're gonna have to go back and check on that. I'm pretty sure that was called a farta choke.
If so, that's fucking funny. But we can, we can do these sweet beaties. Yep, it's a farted joke. <laughs> All right. All right. We got spring beans soon. Uh, we can go sell these spring beans and smash some rocks. We're going to take a nap first, though. Bum, 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 bum. I think we need to smash, what was it, five rocks? That'll get us a little bit more nernies, too. Three rocks. Oh, even easier. One. Two. Three. Perfect. Give me those wishies. And now... Let's just go ahead and grab an obsidian. We can't wait forever for them to spawn in the world. Do we have the bean juice, however, to... Yes, we do. Uh, we'll hit that up then while we're at it. But first, we will sell these spring beans because we don't need them. All right. Spring beans have been sold. We'll use some sweet beets to battle these little dudes over here. Get this cool little uncommon variant. Boom. Uh, should we make brother fight brother? Yeah. Get in here, Clomper. All right. We'll always start gaining a beat. That's always a good play. And then play our next move twice. We have six, two, three, four, five. All right. So we're going to play our next uh, hmm. one hype or do we want two hype or do we want to play our move twice? I think we want double the points, right? We'll get eight points rather than extra hype. All right. This is really docile music for this one. I do feel like I could learn all the music in this game. I know I couldn't, but it feels very accessible. Not in a bad way. All right. We're getting stunned. I like the way their red little noses pop out on the blue body more than the green body. Wow, they're just stunning all of my folks, aren't they? Okay. So we're going to have, like, no abilities now. That's okay. We will just gain very few points at a time. All they're doing is stunning us, so I don't think they're really working on getting points. Which sucks for them, not for us. Alright, gain a beat, and then we can just run our whole hound out. After we do the hype move. Each should give us five, right? Yeah, that's 15 points. Ugh, we're gonna be three points shy, right? Not quite. That's not how math works. A little more than three. Eight. Eight is the number we were looking for. Dun, 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 dun. I love their little jigs. My favorite, uh, once you'll... Oh, man, I can't even do anything this turn. Oof, that hurts. Everyone is stunned. All right. My favorite is uh, the trainer battles and watching the other trainers dance. Because we got this cute little shuffle, but they do, like, this, like, like elbows up sort of, like, jig. And it's so great. Uh, we will gain nine points and two hype, though, and win the game. Yeah. <laughs> it it would have been a good plan if they had actual things to, like, capitalize on the stuns. 
I just, there's not a lot of neutral cards. So once you get like all of the same team, unless your things are actively like skyrocketing you in points, like the, uh, those little, little, uh, floor bots or whatever, then you're, uh, you're really just stuck using a bad move over and over again. Dun, 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 dun. What were we doing? Obsidian. Uh, let's do... Do we want to do the barn or the secret door? Yes, you can. Uh, so whenever you go into a battle, it'll show you. Um, it's... Uh, you, you can... Uh, oh, we have two obsidian, apparently. Okay. I didn't even realize we got a second one. Uh, the, the encounters are sort of, like, randomly generated from the seams of it. So, like, even though there's two of these guys that are out wandering in the group, it, that might be two of those guys and one of something else or something. Um, that is all you get for winning is a seed, but the makeups of the fight aren't always the same group. Ah, ooh-wee, you got all the materials. I'm going to get Vidion and a couple other folks to start on renovations tonight. Heck yeah. Finished that. We're knocking things off our to-do list finally. And we should be able to finish this one as well. Boom. Dance Barn is done too. We're going to have a whole new game to play tomorrow. I don't comprehend your motivations for doing this. I suppose I'll have to hire some laborers to refurbish this dirt dump. It shouldn't take too long. All right. Uh, I probably shouldn't have smashed that. That just used a lot of our energy. I do feel like I'm going to have to invest in some bean juice and stuff for myself. Because I'm just tearing through energy of late. We're barely getting through a day. Uh, but we will go knock a couple of these out. See if we're going to run into other weird issues after we turn in. I do love this little ninja person back here. I can't wait to run into them. You should be able to... We Ooh, we have cactus guys, but we don't have car root cakes, do we? No, we didn't bring any car root cakes with us. Dang. And everything here takes car root cakes in the morning. Alright, so we can't do any battles. But we can fight the trainers. So we'll go do this bean juice folk. And hopefully, we don't run into any other major obstacles on our way through. I do wish it didn't halt our progress while we were having to get the bean juice. Yes. <laughs> when you think about it, you're now complicit in buying stolen merchandise. I mean, yeah. But I'm returning it to the owner, so you kind of extorted it. All right. Uh, just the ninja guy now? Get your keycaps here. Perfect as ooblets. Oh, so this is the this is the shady individual that was selling them to begin with. Oh, I drew a face on it. That'll add extra value. They sell themselves with these caps on your ooblets. You can't lose a dance off. You're saying the ooblets are unbeatable? Are you willing to bet your keycaps on it? <laughs> All right. I don't. I didn't get to where I am by making wise choices. Can we battle? Ooh, look at his variants. This guy collects. All right. Yeah. See, he has a whole ass makeup. We gonna we gonna get into this. I feel like this is gonna be a tricky fight, honestly. So we're going to have to play it smart. We're going to take our time and maybe crash the game before we get into it. We do appear to be hung up. Okay, cool. Early access. We love it. All right. Lower our team's warm-ups by one turn. That might not be a bad play. Let's see. We'll have six points. We either rush points or... 
we play smart, and I think playing smart is the play, right? We're going to lower our warm-ups and then gain a couple hype. The hype will help us in the future. We're setting ourselves up for success. Dun, 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 dun. Add one fluster. See, that hype is going to pay off. That hype's going to pay off a lot. They're a fluster team, it appears. E oh, stun a random opponent for three turns. Oof. Steal three points. But they are sacking points to do stuff. All right. We can't gain a hype. We have a total of... Okay, we're going to stun a target. I think we have to stun this little dude before he starts comboing things. I think that's the play. It might not be the best play, but it certainly feels good. Uh, all our moves cost one beat. They already do. We have five points still, so one, two, three, and then... Yeah. Oh, we have another stun. Okay. Uh... Let's do the other one with a cap, since those are apparently the unbeatable folks. And then we'll earn some points, discard a card, and have something else to use. Which, with our luck with this card, we're going to draw like a four cost. Another stun. Okay. So we might, we might be able to pull off this strat of stun their entire team over and over again and then just gain points. I wasn't expecting lose 11 points and gain three beats. Yep. So that's... That's him there that we might need to stun in the future. That's a pretty rough move to go against. Steal a random... Yeah, we don't care. They can have our signature moves. But that is how they're going to get stuns. Yep. Oh, that guy also has stuns. Okay. Alright. This is a tough fight. I love it. Okay. Steal... We definitely want to pop that, I think, this turn. That gives us two, and then we can either gain eight points or add a fluster. I feel like fluster locking them is going to be the play. I don't think they have much hype. So I think we're going to try to fluster lock them. It'll be a long game for us, but it'll stop them from being able to capitalize on points. Dun, 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 dun. We just got to get them far enough down that they can't make ends meet with their steals. I wonder if for these uh, delayed turn things, does the fluster count when they activate it or when it resolves? Like, if I get them four more fluster by the time that resolves, will they get zero points from it? Uh, we definitely want to steal six points. We do want to do that as well, though. So first, we'll stun this dude again. Keep him locked out. And then we'll drop our points down to one. Dun. Our guys should be coming off stun soon. And we're doing a great job keeping theirs locked out. Uh, I don't know if stuns disable there. Yeah, perfect. That was exactly what I wanted to see. I think we're looking really good. They're only earning two points off three beat, which is real bad. Dun, 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 dun. We can play our next move twice. First, let's stun this dude. Keep him locked out of it. See their little jig? It's just, it's just all elbows. I love it. I can dance like that. We have five. One, two, three, four, five. So... We're going to forego the second stun. We'll gain a hype. I think we want to double up on the fluster. Really lock them down. I think their highest move took seven from us, so that means their best move right now can only take one point from us. Which basically means we have free reign. And they're going to just add a bunch of trepidation to our deck. <laughs> add one fluster. <laughs> they just gave themselves a fluster for no points. Oof. That feels bad. Yeah. They're out of the game. Perfect. Now we should just be able to play a nice slow game on them. Dun, 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 dun. Oop, we don't want to do that. Dun, dun. Oh, we did also steal our 16 points. Uh, it didn't do much because I think they only had like six for us to steal. But... We can pop this now. 
and gain us a whopping 12 points. Yeah, they are they are DOA now. We can just ride this real slowly to victory. Zero points, yep. Add three fl Oh, that kind of sucks, but we'll take it. That just puts us basically at neutral. Yeah, there's that steel. That was steel seven before. We are in a beautiful place. All right. Gain a beat. We'll get a card now. Hopefully, it'll be something to give us eight points. Ask and ye shall receive almost. Dang. Six. So close. All right. We'll pop it anyways, and we'll win it next turn. <laughs> Just to add insult to injury, give him another fluster. Dun Pilfer Polka. That's such a good name. Once, oh, they do have a means of gaining gaining height. Just it just came way too late for him. Lose 18 points. <laughs> That's so harsh. The dance battle will end in two rounds. Oh, that's spooky. I mean, we've got it, but unless we don't draw anything, rough. All right. Well, we'll gain some hype. I wonder if that instantly calls it a draw, or does that give whoever has the most points the win? I, I'm curious about that, and part of me just wants to write it out and see. But the other part of me uh, wants to just use this card that we just drew to gain two points and win the game. Uh, that's the part that won. All right. Because as, as much as I like to experiment, I like the validation of winning more. And that should get us the rest of our little caps. And we can go turn on Oobnet, baby! And now everyone can stop talking about the times where they longed for Oobnet and then go back to criticizing it. Because I, I, knowing the, the sort of characters in this game, I bet as soon as we turn it on, everyone's going to be like, Ugh, Oobnet sucks. Why did we turn that back on? My unwise business choice has somehow led to a worse possible outcome. I begrudgingly bestow upon you all my keycaps. Maybe you'll have more luck with them. All right. I do love that it was like, three people had them and then one person had the rest man just hoarding hoarding the wealth I got all the missing keycaps my savior these last eight months of being locked out have been a nightmare let me pop these bad babies back in and finally get back inside my house dun, 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 dun. home sweet home can I get you an eight month old cup of juice or something no thanks I need to reactivate Oobnet. Oh, is that what that switch is for? Yeah, it is. Let's crack it on. We have Oobnet. Make sure not to turn it off again. And just wondering, but could you have pressed the keypad buttons without the keycaps to get in? <laughs> of course. Of course all that convoluted solution was for absolutely nothing. You know, in his defense, you didn't think of it until we were already in, too, so. Rebecca, why you no give me any dialogue? I don't... I don't get it. Is Rebecca the... Maybe, like, programmer of the game? Enjoy this personalized letter from the mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Rebecca has to be, like, a designer, right? It's in a different color, too. Which is very funny that they made they made the character in game call them out for not writing any dialogue for them. That's pretty fucking good. Dun, dun, dun. There's also port forward and nowhere. I don't know if it's not available because I don't have it or not available because it's early access and they haven't released those zones. I do feel like eventually we're going to hit uh, this is the development peak of this game and where it's at right now. Uh, but I don't I don't know how far into development they are, so I don't know when we're gonna hit that point. But there it is, however, a clock let back back here. How'd it go? 
I got the Oobnet tower turned on. Fantastic. Let's go see if we have access to Oobnet. I'll meet you there in a second. I do want this cloth wet. Boom. All right. That puts us at eight. We're getting real close to the 12 we need for this little house, too. Uh, and then we just, we're kind of at a really good spot. We don't really have a lot that we're missing. We're slowly knocking these quests out. Good news is we got a new bar. Bloop. Bad news. It's not enough bars to connect us. We need to turn on more towers. That's my guess. The next nearest tower should be in nowhere. All right. So it does look like that's the process. Uh, let's go see now if nowhere still says unavailable. If so, then we might be hitting the uh, the development peak of this game. Or if it was just making us wait. Uh, maybe we have to rest for a night first. We'll figure it out. We'll come back tomorrow and see. That'll tell us. Bum, bum. If I had to guess, though. Whoa. Did that say 475? Yeah, dog. All right. We don't have any orders we can turn in. We could get another fanny pack, though, with all this sweet cheddar. Hmm. Or a better watering can. That's a tricky one. We'll sleep on it and decide after. I'm thinking watering can. We were just complaining about that not too long ago. Our lawful flowers are almost grown. Actually, some of them are grown. Look at that. Oh, I do need a nap, however. We're going to nap and then go back to farming. All right. I, I haven't figured out exactly how much energy a nap gives us. Oh, we're, we're not napping. We're sleeping. We've hit that peak. We must go to bed. And we did level up, which is nice. All right. I did real good today, actually. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, 170 wishes. We could get another obsidian and start upgrading more stuff. Do we need any more obsidian for anything? 12 cloth lets? No. Perfect. Thanks, Hankerbot. All right. Let's grab these flowers here. Uh, I don't know what your deal is, you sad one. All right. But we will pick all these. These clothlets should be done today, too, which means we can open that next area. We're getting real close. And then we, we might be coming close to a point where, like, it's just sort of enjoying the oobletts of the game. Dun, dun, dun. That still needs time. Bum, 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 bum. And then after we pick all these, we're almost at a place where we can... Uh, two days left for our, our longest little ones here, I believe. Yeah, that's also two days. So yeah, in two days, we should be able to just sort of like rebuild our farm into a much more efficient production hell. Uh, there isn't any space for oobletts, but if we get an obsidian... We can press Q and crawl into here like the adult we are. Uh, you know, normally it, it depends on the game, honestly, and it depends on how uh, serious I want to take it. I, I do sometimes when I'm like feeling really chill or I'll pop on like a podcast, uh, but playing competitive games I really like to be able to hear the sound because it lets me pretend that I can play better uh, not that it really makes a difference I doubt the level at which I'm playing with versus without music makes much of a difference but I guess in my my brain it makes me feel like I'm, I'm taking it a little more seriously uh, a, a chill ass game like this I would probably listen to some music while I'm playing but I'm also really enjoying the sound design of this game itself so it's it's 
it's pretty low key, but I, I think there's something a little charming about that, honestly. Dun, dun, we got a little bird now. Dumb birds. I. <laughs> How did I just realize that's the name? Dumb birds are flightless ooblets that look like they really should be able to fly. Well, I've never seen them fly, but maybe they can and they're just shy. <laughs> Fucking dumb bird. <laughs> All right, we got to bring a dumb bird with us. Uh, we're going to drop off our... We have, like, three fucking lumps. We're going to send him home and get our our dumb bird. Where are you at, dumb bird? Come here. <laughs> Join the follow babies. I, I really, really wish there was a way to dismiss them. Oh, I just sent that one home. Where's my cop? Get back here. Get back here, cop. You're coming with us. We need protection from the law. You're all we have. All right. But yeah, I, I wish there was a way to sort of kick them out of your collection because I grew a whole bunch of these little lump stumps and now I, I don't know what to do with them. I, I just have so many and I just want like one. I love the variety of plants around Oob. I can never seem to get enough stocked. M my favorite sprout. Have a small friendship token. What are you going to give me? Ooh, I got a onesie. Ugh, wait. Wait, did this game just use the term onesie to describe overalls? <laughs> yeah, I know. I would trading them would be great. I'm surprised there haven't been anyone that like has had a mission so far to like get me a lump stump or some shit. Uh but onesies to describe overalls, that's a term. All right, I wonder if anyone has ever put a zip line through a... Whoa! I would zip line the fuck through a cave. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> that is one... I mean, how many... How many farmers do you think actually have a fetish to, like get down and dirty while they're still in their attire. I I mean, I, I could imagine there's a lot of people that would like to get down and dirty with farmers in their attire. But I don't know, you know, that's kind of like, don't, uh, you know, don't piss where you eat. I, I can't imagine a lot of them themselves would be like, yeah, this is my turn on. How do you, remember how you fetched stuff for me before? You were really good at that. Yes, I got you. I got those right on me right now. Boom. I'm the best. You're right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Daddy, grow those crops for me, please. Oh, tell me all about the fertilization you use to get optimal growth in the winter, Daddy. Uh, we will dance with these radishes because we haven't got any yet. Uh. We got to bring our little bird. We got to bring dumb bird in. This is his chance to shine. Uh, we will gain a height. All right. We will gain another height. And we'll gain five points in another height. The variants here, this really sucks because it's such a tease. The variant, oh my god, that's rough. We need to stun this guy if we can. Uh, the variants here, but there's no way to like select which one gives you its seed. It's always the left or right one, it seems. So I know we're not going to get it, unfortunately. We do have to try to rush to victory because this dude's about to gain him like 16 points. But we'll gain 20 right now. And then another eight. I think we got this. We just need one more turn for seven points. All right. Uh, we could just... Yeah, we'll just steal the seven points we need from them. Boom. 
Give us your sweet. Oh, wow, that's so cute. The the leaf pattern on this variant's different too. That's so cool. So it's not just the colors that change. I've also still yet to find a gleamy, which is another variant that's like apparently they sparkle. I'm assuming they're the, the rarity equivalent of shinies in Pokemon. <laughs> God, I love you so much. Thank you for, for, for being there for me. <laughs> I, I am going to have to like, I don't know set that as a ringtone or something maybe maybe we'll make it our uh our our follow sound once we once we get stream labs all set up dun 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 Ooh, is our barn open now no this is however open let's check out the clubhouse dun 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 what do you think? You were just outside. You were just outside. Did you walk in with me? Or did you, like, teleport? Or... I don't... Ooh, a little thank you gift. It's some sort of token. Ooh, can we use the tokens now? If you complete our club request from this board, you'll earn more tokens. You should come by whenever you like, and maybe we can have a tea party one day. It does look like we'll be able to buy Oublet stuff here. You can get a bow tie, a love wand, a popsicle, ice cream cone. So we can get more ice cream cones now. And these cost little little hearts. Are these these hearts? Oh, see, I can get behind that if we gave her a piggyback. Bring six quibs for a tart we're baking. Okay. You want my qu Ooh, candy floss floss. We can buy seeds from them. Interesting. We can also buy Han Buns. This shop opened up quite a bit for us. I do like this dance floor. This is our only means of dance, I believe. Which is, uh, spoiler alert, exactly how I dance in real life. Um, Do we want any of these? I feel like a bow tie is kind of cute. And a popsicle. Uh, we did have a request to get all of our all of our little uh, oublets, some ice cream cones the other day, but that is a hefty investment of sixteen. We only have sixteen. I think we're gonna wait for now and see if better stuff comes in. She and she's out here now. She's out here. She. Oh, fucking witch. She's a witch. Want to know a secret? I make little figurines of everyone in town and make them smooch because she's a witch and she's doing voodoo. I don't like it. I'm a little on edge. You know, eh, pra practice your beliefs. I'm n I'm not one to judge. You do you, boo. I, I can't say you're not harming anyone. All you're doing is teleporting through walls. Like, is that really a bad thing? I can't fault you for that. I'd do it if I could. So, chase your bliss. I'm glad we worked through that. All right. Our pockets are full to the brim. Uh, but there's a clothlet here, and we're six away. We did use some on something. I don't know what, but we lost a few. Did you solve the case of your missing keys? Ah, yes. Darn oublets again. They think they're funny. My own deputy was behind it. <laughs> okay, that's kind of good. I, I just realized he has oublets following him in, in, in uniform, which is kind of funny. It's a little adorable. You know, I can't fault him. He's doing his best, and crime actually doesn't seem to be a problem in this town, so. Maybe maybe he's what we need of cops. Just, like, incompetent, fun-loving dummies that, you know, are more about just, like, goofing around than actually murdering people. If I had a gummy for every time I questioned my choice to open a cafe, I'd be running on... I'd have enough gummies to retire from running a cafe. That's a predicament. I didn't realize she was the proprietor of this cafe. I thought she was just a barista. 
Have you returned with my bungle buns? I have not, actually. I was broke, and now i am got too much stuff in my inventory. Grammar was invented so we could correct its misuse. I don't know if that's why grammar was invented. I think it was more invented to create a sort of social distinction between educated and uneducated. Uh, I'll probably make a game one day, and it'll be super popular. I just need to find a programmer and an artist. Milu, I get you. I have so many documents that are just like game ideas for someone else that I can convince to do all the labor for me. I feel that so hard in my bones. I can't do it myself. I've tried. It takes a better individual than I. I just don't have the gumption. Learning to code and the patience it takes is just insane. We have almost finished our collection here. We just need an isopod. Uh, which isn't bad. I don't think we've ran into those yet. I don't know what those ones look like. I once had this dude who wanted to breed ooblets, but I put a quick stop to that. Why? You don't breed your friends. Whoa! Tin still dropping some hard fucking truths. It is so fucking true. You don't. Why would... They're your friends. They're not some sort of object for you to put up for, like, sale or for sex. Like, that's Tinstall. Tinstall, you're changing my world. This is making me reevaluate all my years of playing Pokemon as a child. Like, give, give them some agency. They're not just dumb little mons, you know? I mean, they, they definitely are just dumb little mons, but just because they're dumb little mons doesn't mean we shouldn't treat them with respect, right? Uh, we don't need these radishes, unfortunately. Uh, but we do need to go talk to our friend Churls, because Churls always has some great insight for us. Uh, and what do you have? You, you don't ever really say anything of note, Sprin. You're kind of just there. My friendship is the only and greatest gift I can get. Yeah, see, like, what is that? Okay, cool. I do like it. What does that contribute to my life? What sort of deep knowledge and wisdom is that making me reevaluate or think? Nothing, we're just friends. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, sometimes I want some sort of, like, profound realization about the oublet world I'm living in. Let's see what Churls has to say. I love how to, I do love how you don't have to worry about what Ooblets think of you. They're not constantly judging you behind your back. Except Lump Stumps, they judge. You know, they do watch you in your freaking sleep, though. So that is a little, a little sketch. We're going to buy another backpack. All right. Boom. We've replaced our fanny pack with a backpack. And now we have one extra storage slot. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, let's see what we got working on our farm. We have some clothlets grow. Nope, we have some pompadons grown. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know if we actually have clothlets growing right now. We might have to grow some clothlets here in a minute. But first things first, we are going to let everything grow. I, you know, there doesn't seem to be a lot of repercussions for just, like, grinding through the days. So maybe just, like, sleeping a whole bunch until we get some rainy days might not be a bad idea. It won't let me sleep if I'm not tired, though. So I will have to come out and, like, work on my farm to, to exhaust myself real quick. But I think all my friendships will last through me just, like, sleeping weeks. So, I mean, my, my friendships in real life seem to last through, the, through that, so I can't imagine the game wouldn't correlate, right? Everything about this game has been very realistic, so. Uh, we do have, uh, we do need to make a whole bunch more of these hop dops, which means we need to make some more muzz flour, which means we're going to have to grow some more muzz. And we did just spend most of our money on a backpack because we are uh, materialistic shills who want to have more inventory space. But I don't think that's a problem. 
I think... I still want to get rid of this statue, but what can we do? Nothing. Literally. We tried. Uh, we do need to do a bit of organizing here. Uh, we have an isopod and an unusual isopod. I wish you could, like, click and drag to move things in these sort of inventories. But it doesn't feel like there's a way to do that. Uh, I say it doesn't feel like that, and the words I mean is I haven't found a way to do that. Um, so, we have another seed there. We have some more seeds. There's another Fermo seed. Alright, I think that's all our seeds. We'll put our two orn in there and our other instruments. Boom, boom. And then... I think we can do a lot of selling right now. We don't need most of this stuff. We do want the the car roots right now because we're trying to get our hop dops for the for the little vending machine over here. We need our pompadons, so we need hop dops, pompadons. Uh, we can go give our lapu flowers to to this uh, researcher up here, and we should buy our buns on our way up too. We need three of them, I believe. Boom. Uh, we are broke again now, though it seems. Man, living in a society is expensive. We'll process all these cans. Grab this bait. And let's turn in a couple more quests. We also need some quibs, which are all over right now. We should be able to get all those. Y they had to have. I, I can't imagine, like... At some point, you have to either... Oh my god, how have I not seen her... Her oublet? Look at it. Look at those awkward little legs on it. Oh, that's so cute. They had to have had fun, though, naming everything. Like, at some point, you either probably had to have felt really insane or really clever, too. Because a lot of these names don't even feel like they're... Close, you know? A little beret! And hypnoglasses. Cute little fashions for our oublets. They're literally just like nonsense. I wonder how many uh, were named... Oh, we have to give the barrette to, to our clicky claws, right? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they look... Now they look like they're a rock star that's trying to hide from the paparazzo and they're just done with it. Uh, we will give our, our lump stump the other hypnoglasses, I think. Uh, because that is what the law enforcement does. They hypnotize you with their eyes, I guess. I don't know. Ooh, Scrabble pieces would have been a really good way to do it. Like, just kind of take two halves of things and like, oh, this is Schlurb and this is Nibbledorp. So we're going to call this a Schlurbnaldorp. Uh, have you ever returned? Yes, we have them. Uh, yes, take your samples, Vidion. Now, I will get some quibs for the tart they're making. Alright. Uh, those aren't quibs. We don't want to waste too much energy. We're just looking for quibs here. Boom. And that's enough for a tart. That's all we need. That's tart making quibs. I don't think this is open yet, right? We checked that today. Yeah. The days are... We're, we're actually spending our days doing stuff now, it seems. We're not just wasting them away sleeping and tending to the farm. Take your quibs and give us some tokens. So, yeah, these are front bun tokens for sure, right? Yeah. So each of these tokens are going to be used for the different uh, little, little businesses that we open up as we go. And we currently have the one. We've almost got this for that other one. All right, let's come back and check out our little house. And I think we might be able to grind away some sleeping hours now. We'll spend a little bit of, oh, we do need a water. And fill our water. And go back and water some more. Dun, dun. All right. 
that's just an empty space that needed weeded, apparently. Ah, the life of a farmer. We we pick, we plant, we we uh, p p p p p provide wet, and we pull. Wait, we already did pick. Damn. Uh, we pick, we plant, we provide wet. I think that's it. That's all farmers do, right? I don't. I don't think there's anything else. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're gonna spend a couple days. I think just kind of exhausting ourselves out on the farm, so that we can uh, just sort of get to the get to the part that we want to do, and that's that's uh, redoing our our farm here. We'll, we'll, we'll knock out a couple of the little things, but I, I really want to spend some time working on our farm today before we have to get out, you know? Dun, dun. Yeah, we need a nap. Perfect. That's what we were looking for. One sweet, fresh nap. And then we're just going to take another one back to back, and then we're going to sleep till the morning. Because we also want to check out what that dance barn does. And double check that we can't go to nowhere. Because it didn't look like we could today, so. But I don't know if we're going to just have to wait till tomorrow. Alright. Boom. We did it. We made it through another day. Doom. Doom, boom, boom. I don't know if Gleamies are likely to, like, if we'll have to see them. Uh, I found this old hat in the attic and thought it might suit you. I made a policy of not selling attic clothes, so I'm giving it to you for free. Charles, you're so sweet. An attic hat. It's going to change our hair yellow. Uh, yeah, we, we, don't, we don't care, Hankerbot. You're not giving us free stuff anymore. Uh, we'll take our muzz flower, though. And we'll go make a bunch of hop dogs. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to need a lot more muzz. We're getting close, though. I think we need probably like 10 more, roughly. Uh, I do wish there was a way to sort of mass craft. That rapid clicking is a little tedious. We need, we need seven more. That's not bad at all. We should be able to do that in a day. Well, not in a day, but like once we have, uh, once we're to a point where we're sort of setting up our farm and we get it growing, it shouldn't take us too long after that. So let's let's just get to that point, right? I do feel like we definitely need to spend some time weeding and whatnot. And we'll probably have to come back about halfway through the day of sleeping. We'll have to come out and uh, water our crops. I don't think it's going to let us do it until then. We might just be able to rewater them all right now, though. I, I have not tested that yet to see if watering something that hasn't been watered yet will like i don't know if, if watering now refreshes the time or if it will just run it out and then make us redo it but we've only got a day left on these so that's not too bad at all even this pompadon's a day uh what were these guys 1.5 days so yeah we should be able to waste away a day that shouldn't be too bad i don't think that's a terrible plan we do have yeah, 1.5 on all these. Three days on this Farta choke. That's our longest right now. Uh, 1.5 on that one. Okay. So we will get all these done. And now we need a nap. Perfect. Uh, we will make a quick pass for obsidian, though, because if we can find some obsidian, that'll be super helpful. We always need obsidian. Doom, doom, doom. 
We'll talk to Taffy while we're out. This is how it always starts, and then I'm just going to want to go around and talk to everyone since we're running by them anyways. Uh, I might not know much about flying hot air balloons, but I do it anyways, and that's that. <laughs> oh, that's so good, Gimbal. You know, we don't have to be good at the things. We Ooh, a pirate hat. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, a new blood's getting a pot. We're giving that to Side Key. He is 100% a pirate with a monocle now. Uh, and I think our sweet little Peter Porker here is going to get that, that dumb fucking hat here. Oh, yeah, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He looks like he needs a friend. Oh. Yeah, we still can't get, go to nowhere. Uh, yeah, we, we haven't named everyone yet. We're working on it. So far, we have Peter Porker, and we will, uh, be naming our, our, our Larry King motherfucker once we get him grown. I, I exhaust myself daily. It's hard. It's a hard knock life, you know? I mean, it doesn't differ much from me in real life. I, I do just sort of live in a perpetual state of ready to sleep. No, cop, get back here. I need to have a conversation with you every day so that you know I'm a member of your community. Oh, I become a notary public mainly because I got the physique for it. Okay. That's a that's a weird, unnecessary dig that, that, ga that this game just decided to make. <laughs> Do we hate notary publics too? I, I never really thought of them as like a bad thing. I mean, notarizing is kind of dumb. It, it feels a little unnecessary, but I don't I don't think we need hate on notary publics, right? Uh, the dance barn is reopened, baby. Basil helped out too. I'm sure he did it all out of the goodness of his heart too. Anyway, I saw some people already starting to use the dance barn. We can start doing daily dance tournaments now, which I think will be great for the town. You should try to join some of them. I will absolutely join some dance tournaments. We are ready to let our freak fly. Let's do it. Ooh. We get seeds as a reward? Okay. So we're going to get a goalie splout seed for this. It's a vanilla dance battle. Signatures only. Both teams can play only signature moves. All oh, shit. This gets buck wild. Okay. Oh, grand prizes, clicky claw seeds. Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's join a tournament. How do I, how? Let me join. Let's go. Let, let's go. Let's go. No. Maybe I'm missing something. Did I leave the easy bake oven on? Uh, am I missing something? What am I missing? Maybe I don't have the energy. Tomorrow's tournament is a... Maybe we'll try taking a nap and coming back and seeing. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna do the thing that I didn't want to do and just go through our daily... Uh... Earn 50 friend new friendship points with anyone you want. Okay. That's easy. A love you want, a popsicle. It's all the same. It's all the same rigmarole. I think I'd rather buy their seeds right now. Uh, you, give me some friendship points. Uh, how do I level up my oobletts so they won't run away when I try to cuddle them? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know. Just sleep and let them, like, come to you. Duh. Da, 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 da. I don't know if we're going to get 50 friendship points in a single day. That feels like a lot, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm still surprised that a lot of the townsfolks we can't become friends with. I also wonder if there's a cap to our friendship limit. Or if it just continues to rise. Did you bring anything with you for, to Oob from Throttlecron 8? Only my Oobin skin suit. Aww. Please don't tell me it's made out of... No, it's not made out of real Ubens. I fucking... I love that idea. Why Why would you call it an Uben skin suit if it's not made out of Ubens? I guess to make you look like an Uben, maybe? But then what is... What, 
It must be some sort of synthetic material. Did you know that my parents wanted me to follow a career in lifestyle blogging? I didn't know. It's never come up. I was a rebellious young girl, so I decided to disappoint my parents and become a scientist. That's, I mean, the reality is, this is the truth we're moving towards. Like, creatives and stuff, they're going to be putting a lot more weight on them in our society coming soon. And I think we're going to get to a point, honestly, where it's like being a creative type is, or, or an influencer or something of that stature is the way we view sort of like doctors and scientists now. I believe if you have to think, I believe I have you to thank for helping me finish my secret lair. I thought it was supposed to be the Mimpin's clubhouse. Indeed, that's what I said. Regardless, I have some items to present to you as a form of social... Alright, what do we got? Tokens? Ooh, more sprinklers! Yes! I love free sprinklers. There are some items available that you can purchase with Mimpin's tokens. You can earn Mimpin's tokens by completing the tasks we post. Uh, this little hangout is a lot more cluttered, that's for sure. I I do sort of like the aesthetic we got going, though. There's no dance floor, which is welcome. Uh, we can buy a water pistol, which we will be buying. That's not even a question. Uh, we This is a metal mallow, too. I don't know if that's food or if that's... Uh, we, will be, we will be buying that water gun, though. Tin nurnies. We have tin nurnies with us. Boom. Done. Done. Give me those tokens. Give me them. All right. I feel like that's going to be a lot of the quests for them. It's like nurnies and stuff. Real, real technical mumbo jumbo. Maybe sprockets. I don't know if we're going to ever have to construct anything. Double. What do you got? God, I'm so overwhelmed from the things that I order. The wrong amount of spring beans for next week. Do you think you could fetch me 15 spring beans? Kind of soonish. Sure. I don't think I have any on me. But. Oh, I do, apparently. Heck yes. I did not sell them yet. Boom. Ooh, 120. And three front bun tokens. Okay. So everything's going to start rewarding us with tokens, it feels like. Oh, were the front bun tokens from the friendship points? Never mind. That's disappointing. It would be kind of cool if everything started awarding us tokens throughout the town. Some financial success is the best measure of their catch. Some's financial success is the best measure of their character. Saves a lot of time from having to get to know people. That is the sad reality that we currently live in, which is a little terrible. Uh, I don't follow politics, but I'd imagine Tinseltun is screwing everything up as mayor. Well, that's a little judgmental of you there, Milu. Uh, I heard of high-level ooblets growing so big they can't fit through doors. I hope you're intrepid, but if you end up growing your babs that much, we're going to have to talk about you getting you a special permit or something. Uh, I don't feel like... Oh, God, that pirate hat is so fucking cute. Look at him go. Look at my little pirate. Uh, I, don't, I don't... I haven't noticed a difference in their size so far. But that would be fucking hilarious if, like, we hit level 10 and all of a sudden they're just giant. I, I would appreciate that so much. I doubt it's going to happen, though. Dun, 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 dun. We don't have anything here. It looks like nothing of important. A lot, a lot of garbage we could be selling, but we've also got a lot of uh, cheddar. We will take a nap, come back, check out the dance bar, and see if we can do a dance-off. If not, we might have to wait till tomorrow, I guess, and see. Maybe it's just bugging on us today. Otherwise, it might just be DOA right now. And we'll have to wait for an update, maybe. But we'll get those clothlets and go from there. We might be able to just sleep away the rest of the day after that. Make sure our crops are watered. All these ones look fine. These are harvestable now. Make sure nothing's been weeding up. That has there, but that's not actually on any plants. These need watered. And now we go see if we can dance, baby. I have a feeling it's not going to let us, but that's just a... 
baseless intuition, so usually, more often than not, that's wrong. We have one cloth light here and one up top. And I don't think that's going to drop us down to... But we'll try the barn first, just in case. We're at seven. So this is going to put us eight. We need four more cloth let. We might just be able to buy it and get it done with. How many wishies do we have? It costs ten. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. Sign up for the tournament. Let's-a go. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, does not look like it's going to let us participate in a dance battle today, unfortunately. But we will try again tomorrow. We'll do it. We'll do it first thing tomorrow, too. Just to make sure. All right. We have 80 wishes. One. Two. Three. Four. All right. We just spent half our wishes for clothlets so we could be lazy. Let's go turn in this quest, and then we're basically done with all of our, like, sort of society quests. What do you got, Algrid? Tinstall is too trusting to recognize it, but the Ooblet High Council is everything that's wrong with Oob. You know, I'm starting to get that feeling. They feel like a sort of looming oppressive force that we know nothing about. Very sort of Illuminati-esque 99 or 1% vibes, you know? Uh, th that's not to imply that the 1% are the Illuminati, but, you know... With all this, I should have this place fixed up by tomorrow, I'm sure. Doom, doom, doom. All right. Now, our last one costs 500 gummies. And I'm more invested in getting us some more seeds next, I think. So we're going to let that one sit for a hot minute, I believe, is probably the play. Although, it, it might not hurt to just get it done with. I don't know. Let's see what we can sell and how much we'll have from that. We'll talk to our friendly little vendors, too, real quick. Yeah, we spent the whole day talking to everyone and, and shit still. We did not rush through this day at all. You know, it's so hard. I just find myself wanting to progress more. I'm not quite sure what causes Outgrid to... What out, what cause Outgrid is fighting for this week. Hmm. Uh, tearing down the Ooblet High Council. Duh. If you just had a conversation with him every once in a while, you'd know that. He's not that hard to keep up with. It's either, like, cans or oppression. It's one of two things. All right, Churls. I've realized that I tend to channel my anxiety into my sewing, which explains why I've gone through four sewing machines this week. Holy shit. I cannot imagine having that kind of... Oh, this we're buying this bear hat. I cannot imagine having that kind of drive to actually work on something like four sewing machines in a week. Could you freaking imagine? That's like... Even, even if it's anxiety-ridden, that's some dedication to your craft to just like be able to sit there and do that so much. I, I, I have nothing but respect for you, Churls. It's hella impressive. I get, I get exhausted just, like, talking. I've run for mayor of Badgetown, but my colorful history apparently precludes me from holding any sort of office, public office. Okay. Why does everyone in this town know your history but me? I need to know it, Mead. What is under my farm? I don't know, but I will find out someday, Mead. I will find out what you're hiding from me. You can't hide it forever. It doesn't matter how hard you try. Your demons will creep up and find you. I will find what you've done, Mead, and I will be the... Actually, I'll probably com be complicit in it. I won't tell anyone, and it seems like most people know anyways, so I, I mostly just want to know for my own satisfaction. All right, but until that day, we will farm. Dun, dun. Uh, oh yeah, our our guys up here will water these now for us. Dun, dun, dun. We're so close. Three days on that one. That's gonna be a hot minute still. But all these ones only have one day left. 
We'll take a quick nap. We'll finish watering. And then we'll sleep for the night, it seems. Oh, we can check down a sprinkler, too. Dun, 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 dun. It's just so disturbing knowing they're watching me the whole time now. That's not them greeting me. What do they want from me while I sleep? Do they harvest on my dreams? Do oublets eat dreams? Is that what this is? Are they some sort of nightmare filled dream monsters? I... I don't know. They're... They're mysteries to us all. Alright. Let's turn in for the day. I think we've done enough. We wanna we wanna see about a dance battle tomorrow anyways. Dun 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 dun. Alright. Oh no, we're not we're not doing some midnight cooking. We don't need to do that. We're sleeping till morning. You know, I'm not sure where I put my water before I started this, so we might we might have to take a quick little water break. Cause you gotta stay hydrated. Gotta. Hydration is the most important thing in life. I hope everyone else is remembering to drink their water. Especially in these... Ooh, we're raining today! Yes! Perfect! That means my farm's gonna take care of itself. So we can do a little bit of screwing around. And get a few more sprinklers. Hey, perfect timing. I, you know, I've gotten really good about drinking, but this whole social distancing thing is really killing my water consumption because if you're going to be growing pomodons, could you bring me some? Yes. Uh, because I would normally use sort of social anxiety as an excuse to drink water, but that's all gone now. I don't have awkward conversations in which I need to fill the silence with drink now, so I'm just kind of all on my own out here trying to drink without any sort of uh, social pressure. Ooh, we do have a, oh, we have a variant of Lump Stump already, don't we? Do we? Let's check. I don't know if we've got a Lump Stump variant. No, we don't. Heck yes. Let's get this variant. So yeah, it's, it's hard. I, I, I don't know how to fix it, but, you know, I just need to remember to drink more. Uh, we will start with a beat. <laughs> you know, let's do it. Push me to affiliate so that we, we remember to stay hydrated. <laughs> I, I love that. Uh, you know, you know, once we get there, though, we're going to have some buck wild redemptions. That's going to be the real goals, though. It's going to be like, uh, fucking redeem to have me hot glue my fingers to my face or some stupid shit like that. Because, because why not? Uh, let's gain a hype and then steal eight points. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, all right, that technically nets us 16 points because it pulls them down eight as well. So that's that's a good payoff. Uh, <clears throat> and it gave them a three fluster as well, so it gives them a real, real big issue to deal with. We'll gain a beat here, and then I think that's enough to gain three, four, five. Yeah, 10, 15, 20 points here, which is uh, game over. Now we'll get this sweet lum stump seed. The red ones just look so mad. They they look like they've been fueled with rage for years and slowly been building up and changing the color of their skin. Dun, dun, dun. It is going to suck having to level up all my variants now, though, once they finally grow. Because I do, I do want the team of variants. They do look neater, I think. Plus, I mean, if I could get a team of Gleamies, that'd be even better, but I don't I don't think we're getting Gleamies anytime soon. I, I've yet to run into one. 
A couple years ago, the town wanted to turn the Wildlands into a stadium, but I campaigned to stop it. I had to chain myself to some wild oublets. How do you even do that? Aw, thanks for the sticker, buddy. More bean juice. Ooh, he gave us another ice cream cone. Who do we give the ice cream cone to this time? Uh, Dumbbird? Oh, Wiggle Whip. Wiggle Whip looks hungry. Oh, I'm gonna pet him first. Yeah. Look at that cutie. Alright, have an ice cream cone. You've earned it. You've worked hard for us. Let's see if we can find some more raindrops. Nope. Do we, do we have more cans we can reconstitute? Nope. We finally caught up on that. What is this? Oh, yeah, we can upgrade our house. I forgot all about that. Before we started running elections, whoever was the newest arrival to Badgetown became the mayor. It wasn't a very clever system. I'm so happy you're my friend. Let me give you some friendship stickers. Yay! Ooh! <gasps> Legsy! This has to be this has to be that dude that was all legs, right? Has to be. That's such an appropriate name. I sort of miss having access to Oobnet because I could pretend I was normal on it. Aww. Since you seem to be able to talk to so many people, what's everyone's problem? You know their problem with me? I don't didn't know they had a problem. You've got to give folks a chance to get to know you. They're all uptight and losers and jealous of you. Maybe you can be a little abrasive. Oh, do we be honest or do we be sweet? Oh, I see. I don't think he's abrasive. He's just very, you know, he socializes different. And I guess some people might find it abrasive. I think you got to give folks a chance to get to know you. Once people get... To oh, Milu. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what problem can... Let's find out. We got to send another gift basket, apparently. What do you got for us, Tinstall? Tootie News. Got a letter back from the council saying they appreciated our gift basket, but it wouldn't change the situation. I think they're playing hardball for an even better gift basket. I've put together a list of things that I'm sure they'll like. Once they see we mean gift basket business, I'm sure they'll take pity on us. I I hope it's just like bees, just a whole gift basket full of bees. Nope, it's cupcakes and kebabs and tarts. All right. Dang. I mean, who who would not want to receive See a, a gift basket of bees says you mean business. A gift basket of sweets says that like we're trying to buy your love. And those are just, it's two different things. If, if we're trying to mean business, we've got to mean business. We can't just mean business. All right. Doable, what do you got? You probably make for a decent barista if you'd be willing to work for free and put up with a soul-crushing hours. I've got a friendship sticker and some free drinks. Heck yeah. Plank it. That's, that's interesting. None of those were drinks. None of those were drinks, Double. What do you what do you expect me to do? Drink paper and and wood? That's absurd. That's not what people do. Even the recipe gave us cake. Am I supposed to blend that up and drink some sort of cake smoothie? That sounds terrible. Ooblet clubs were first created in order to task people with hurting ooblets out of attics, which used to be a more serious problem. Okay. That's an interesting problem to have. Why were they why were they so keen on keeping ooblets in their attic? Uh Oh, perfect timing. I'm on the verge of an important brain-shattering discovery. Do you think you could bring me a cup of bean juice? I have tons of bean juice right now, Rugnolia. Take it off my hands. All right. You've been a surprisingly adequate assistant. Please accept my tick sticker. Boom. <gasps> oh, we can get figures from them? And also, oh my god, is this an oublet we can get? Look at it! Look at how cute this motherfucker is! It's a fucking dog! Oh my god! How do we find it? I think we have to we have to purchase more oublets, don't we? That's what we're gonna have to do for that. Alright. Well, maybe soon. I miss greeting all of my all my notifications from friends on Oobnet. You're an amazing BFF. Here's a sticker. Sweet beady seeds. Yes, please. And some gummies. All right. Friends give us a lot of money in this game. I wish my friends in real life just willingly gave me this much money for being their friends. 
Uh, bring us three bunglebee buns. But you know, I can't fault them. We're all broke. We're all struggling. <laughs> they 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 buy me food and 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 say hello, and that's all I can ask for. All right, Vidion, what you got? Do wild ublets have families? They appear to congregate together, but their relations seem unclear. Clear. Uh, reconstitute twenty things in the reconstitutor. Uh, ooh, your your inventory has changed. And it no longer has a squirt gun. I hate you. I hate everything about this club. I want to quit and join a new one. All I want is the squirt gun. That's all I care for in life. Uh, I don't think we have 20 things to reconstitute, honestly. Not that we want to. Uh, we'll stick those in there for now. We can grab a bunch of cans over here, actually. This might get us there. And we did get another teardrop, which means another... Uh, Another sprinkler in our collection. See if there's any more on the island here. Uh, was it three buns we needed or two? Three. It says right there if we read. Reading the quest explains the quest. All right. Pick up all these cans here. Like the responsible environmentalists we are. Boom. Now let's huck them in the constudier. Did we get 20? We got 19, baby. That's plenty. We're going to have to wait for them to process and then come back. So we'll go get our buns while we wait. Chat with a couple more folks. See how they're doing in the pursuits of life, liberty, and happiness. Uh, what do we have here? Always being nice to everyone is a good way to trick them into thinking you're a nice person. I mean, yeah, and it has the benefit of being nice to them, so... Like, if, if if it makes you feel better about people thinking that you're nice and also makes your actions nice, then, like, yeah, I'm all for it. Fake that you're nice. Making my own prawn stew. Okay, Taffy. You do you. See, Taffy is just out there chasing their bliss. Like, they don't give no fucks. Oh, my pockets are full. My pockets are always full. All right. Churls, can you buy from me? I don't think you can. Uh, but I could just buy a bigger backpack. Dun, dun. I don't trust scaffolding. You know, if you took some time to get to know anything about scaffolding, Churls, you'd find that it's actually very safe. In fact, most scaffolding accidents come from the people operating the scaffolding and not the scaffolding itself. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying it. So, it could be. It seems like that's likely the case, right? I mean, for the most part, accidents are always caused by the op- or not always, but mostly caused by the operator, not by the equipment. So, I, I don't know, though. I don't know. Maybe scaffolding is a rare anomaly in which most accidents actually occur from the scaffolding. It could be. It could be out to get us. Keep your eye on that scaffolding. Don't let it get you. There's no healthier prepackaged sweet treat in Oob than our beloved Bunglebee Buns. You know, I hope that's true. Uh, let's huck some more cans in here. And that should hit our goal, right? Yeah, there it is. Give me those tokens. Nom, 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 nom. Now we'll go huck these here. Oh, we were supposed to, do, we were supposed to try to do this first, but oh well. well. We'll check out the dance barn after this. I think we have enough energy that any sort of... Uh, ooh, what do we have here? Head flour, ice cream cone, bow tie. Nah. Should we buy? Well, we'll wait to get the seeds until we finished our little farm change here. I, I, I want to take a look and see how we can set it up to be a little more efficient and a little more organized. I'd like to have a row dedicated just to oobs. All right. So we have 1v1, 2v2. So, there's nothing here. Oh, there we go. Cool. This worked. All right. Dance challenge from Hermble. Do we only get one? All right. We only get one. Uh, is this a... Uh, you know, I didn't look at what kind of challenge this was, so... This might be the, the, the bad, a bad makeup. But we'll, we'll go for it. Uh, that's... Ooh, we only have three. We have such a small team now. This is going to take a little more thought, I think. 
You know, I say that, but let's find out. It, it might just be able to be blown through. Oh, I totally missed your follow the bit, boss. Oh, thank you so much. I, I just caught that. I'm sorry. I, I don't have any notifications turned on for that right now. But thank you so much if you're still watching. I appreciate it a, a whole lot. Dun, 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 dun. I'll, I'll do better to keep my eye out for those. Um, should we increase his moves? I don't know if that's going to give us much. Let's just let's just work on outpacing him. I think that's the play. Boom, boom. Dun, dun, dun. All right. I think we got this. I, they're, they're playing real slow. We can earn seven points, which gets us there. Yeah, boom. We've won our first dance battle. We did it. All right. I'm glad it's letting us do these. I, I was worried that it was gonna be either be uh, not, oh my God. I just saw this dopey guy in the background. Look at him. Look at that little Play-Doh face. I thought I had that one, but nice work. Nice work to you too. Good try. Was that, are we gonna do 2v2 now? Yep, so we have to do 1v1, 2v2, and 3v3, and then we get the grand prize, cool. And this is just a normal battle today, it looks like. So, uh, what makeup do we want? Clomper's gonna stun a lot. I don't know what this fucking spirited away ghost motherfucker does. Uh, so, we're gonna get stunned a lot. So we want someone, we can either go for counter stuns, or we don't wanna bring in an ability. Hmm. Uh, does the amount of armpit hair affect the amount of sweat or smell produced? Uh, I would imagine yes, right? Because hair, hair, like, it, it, it retains heat. So I'm assuming it at least affects the amount produced. I don't know about the smell. Uh, I mean, there, there'd probably be an argument for, like, I mean, wet hair smells differently than having no hair, right? So I, I would assume it also affects the smell. Uh, let's bring the Fleabee in. So I, that, I mean, my guess would be yes on both accounts. For sure, it affects the amount of sweat. For sure. But it also it also absorbs water because it's hair. Um, so it probably makes you feel like you're sweating less, but you're actually sweating more would be my guess. Whereas having no hair, you, you would probably feel the sweat more. And the, the smell, though. The smell's a tricky one. I, I, I'm inclined to say I, I would assume it affects the smell produced as well. But I, I just don't know for sure on that. Because that's the whole point of hair, right? Is that, like, we technically kind of grow it in... We grow more in the winter so that we stay warmer. And that's why our dogs shed during the, during the summer. Now, is it enough to create, like, a huge net positive? Probably not. My guess is, like, the difference that it makes is is a very minuscule amount of, like, like 0 0.02 degrees or something. But uh, we will steal six points, I think, from them, right? That feels like the good play. Dun, dun. My, yeah, my guess is, is with the right... With the right tools, it's measurable, but negligible. And I, I can't imagine the smell is, is affected. Like, it, it at least probably isn't a worse smell, so to speak. But it probably does influence the smell. Because at the very least, it's a sort of vessel for bacteria and stuff. Gain two points every time a move is played this hand. Why would you not play that first? Oh, that's a good play. This guy's cool. I want one of these. Two, three, four. That's a good play. We'll pop this. We'll gain some hype. And we'll gain six points. I think we've got this fight in the bag. It's a pretty easy one. I really like the spirit away that dude though. Like he's he's super cool and he looks really cool. I love this sort of like mask attire he's got on. 
Uh, we didn't need to gain that beat. We can run our hand without it, but... I don't think it's enough to get us there yet. We have one more turn. But I doubt they're getting 14 points in one turn. Oh, shit. Maybe. <laughs> if they have a second one, then we might be screwed. I was not expecting that. Whew. Okay. Uh, gain a beat. Oh, we got. We can just pop this three and we'll be good. And we're there. That was a little spooky there. We were tempting fate by announcing how much they needed. Alright. One more. 3v3. I feel like I actually have to put a little bit of thought into this sort of makeup in these dance battles, which is kind of nice. I feel like I won the moral victory and all that, but yes, you technically got the other type of victory. Mm-mm. <laughs> What is, what is the moral victory? How did he win morally over me? By losing? Is that how it works? Is the moral victory to lose? If so, I win a lot of moral victories. Oh my gosh, look at this cute octopus penguin thing. Oh, these are so good. All right, we're bringing Sidekey in. We're bring, bringing Fleeby, and we're going to bring in him because he gives us some good hype. All right. Uh, all our moves cost one beat. One, two, three. Then that lets us play everything. Uh, we will play our next move twice. Gain ten. Or eight points. Oh, that didn't let us play anything. everything. I, I miscalculated there. My math was bad. Which is real sad, because these are basic additions that we're doing. We aren't, we aren't even hitting double digits, and I, I messed it up. But you know what? Some of us aren't meant for math. Uh, yes, this is all absolutely the play, I think. And then we'll gain a beat and gain a couple extra more points. I am not too terrified of these guys right now. Their abilities seem a little lackluster. But as soon as I say that, I know we're going to get into some Buckwild territory. We do have them pretty flustered out, which is nice. Uh, all our moves cost... We'll gain a beat first. And then reduce the cost of all of our moves. Not that we had to, I don't think. No, we didn't. Oh, well, it depends on what we draw for this next card. Let's find out. We probably should have popped that first before we did the... Uh, Reduce the cost of everything, just in case we had pulled, like, a four cost. We know in the future. We got a sequence right. I, I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about the sequencing in this game, although it hasn't really become an issue. So, gain two points every time we just played this hand. I mean, why, would you, why would you play that last? That AI needs to fix that. It's just a bad play. Uh, we're going to gain six points and two hype. And then we're going to gain four points and win because we are winners here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Blast through this. 200 XP. 200 XP. Give me those tokens. Give me that seed. I feel like I won the moral victory. Oh, gosh. This again. You and your moral victories. And so that's the tournament has ended. We have won. Okay, cool. What's up, Volness? How you doing today? We're, we're playing some oublets. We're just, we're just getting some more mats for some sprinklers. And we are loving it right now. We just won our first tournament. We unlocked the barn not too long ago. Ugh, the whole healing crystal thing is such a scam. Everyone knows crystals are only good for summoning chaos demons and tuning into all the ghost stations on TV. We do know that. But the ghost sta We don't have any TV to watch right now. Uh, we do have a potion to help win imaginary arguments, though, which is super helpful. Uh, I feel like we have a lot of people taking that potion constantly. Uh, ooh, we do have some more cloth let here. 
let's see. Oh, more water. We've got enough mats for three, four more sprinklers now, I think? Remember back when Ooblets learned how to dance? Not sure what we all did with our time back then. Let's see. How many sprinklers can we make now? Uh, oh, wow. We have six rain plops. Okay, so we need a lot more nernies and clocklets now. And we'll have to go get another sprocket, too. Which means we're probably going to have to take some time to grow some clothlets here soon. Because we don't have enough at the moment. Are they on sale currently? Nope, our car roots are. Hey, well, welcome. I, I just started a couple days ago, and I am obsessed with this game. It's so charming. Do, do you know if they're going to be adding any sort of, like, multiplayer or anything? I, I haven't done much digging in the game yet, so I just kind of bought it on a whim and have been obsessed with it ever since. But it'd be very nice if we get, like, some sort of multiplayer or trade system. That'd be super cool. But either way, I am always down to talk about and embrace this game. Let's grab us another sprinkler. We also need obsidian and clothlet for some coops. <laughs> I I don't know how much how active the developers have been on talking about things. Thank and thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it so much. We're 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 just starting the streaming thing, so every little bit helps and and it means a lot to me honestly that that you're supporting. Uh but yeah, I I haven't followed the developers much. I don't even know. I honestly couldn't tell you what studio did it, but I think I should look into that, maybe. See uh, see what the plans are for the game. He's a cool guy for sure. <laughs> I, I, I don't know your relation with them, so... But I it definitely seem... Any, anyone who's willing to put up with me for an extended period of 20 seconds is a, is a pretty cool guy. Make him blush. I don't... How do we make him blush? I, I don't know about this. This feels very targeted, I, and I, I don't feel equipped for this skill set. Oh, me? I'm a doof? Oh. <laughs> okay, I see. You're, you're talking about me. Gotcha. You know, I, I, I thought there might have been some sort of inside friendship here that I was, I was just tapping into. Uh, but I guess, I guess I was wrong on that. I apologize, but I'm, I have no doubt you're a cool guy, too. Uh, so, Volnus, without a doubt. Dun, dun, dun. I, I, have you found any Gleamies yet, Volnus? I have not been able to find any, and I'm dying to find one because I got a little hint that said that they can produce obsidian, uh, and I have not ran into any yet, so... But I, I would love some little obsidian producers in my in my farm here, cause that that is it's so hard to come by right now, and it's needed for everything. Dun, dun. And we do have a ton of seeds, but we need things to finish up here. Maybe we should go. Oh, you haven't even opened it yet. Okay. It, it, man, I, I fell in love almost immediately because one of the first things you say when you get to the island, uh, I, I don't want to spoil it for you, but it's just so charming. There's this very existential sort of humor that this game has, and everything about it is great. I'm still waiting for another letter on my bench from the mysterious folks that are trying to ruin our town. But we've had no avail of that yet. Let's see here. Uh, recipes. What did we need? We need clothlet. We need a lot of clothlet. And nernies. Alright, let's go smash some rocks and make some nernies. And then in a couple of days, we should be good to grow some clothlet. And make a few more sprinklers. We're still stuck waiting on coops, so... Uh, also, how many... Oh, we're up to 240 wishies. We could go for Oop Coop level 3 and an Obsidian, which we're probably going to need for it. That feels like a pretty good play. Oh, heck yeah. You know, y you should just jump into it, I think, honestly. it, it It's really... 
it's really worth like I, I feel like it's a good game that, that anyone can pick up in at like any point where you're at. So I don't think there's a lot of pressure in like making sure people follow it from the beginning. So I, I think I think starting it now, plus it gives you a little feel for I've been so lost trying to figure out the game as I go. And I, I definitely feel that like that sort of detracts a little bit. I you know, I, I kind of embrace the no having no clue what I'm doing, but I don't know if that's your style too. But if it's not, having a little bit of footing going into the game might certainly help, too, when you start streaming it. Although there, there isn't anything that I found that's too difficult without any sort of prior knowledge. It's a, it's a very easy game to catch on to and learn about. There are a few little tips and tricks that I'm sure I'll find along the way. Like, definitely set your farm up for optimization to start. Otherwise, you'll find yourself waiting days for everything to grow so that you can fix it because it's just not very efficient. I'm, I'm a very big fan of sort of efficient setups. My, my Animal Crossing village has become a sort of production hell in which I've forcefully relocated all of my rocks to spaces immediately next to them. That's true. That's, I mean, that's the charm I've been going for. <laughs> uh, I, I've definitely been sort of like, I threw myself into the water and, and I can't say I regret it, but also, you know, y you know, you gotta have fun with it. And it just, it depends on where your fun lies, right? I, I know there's some people that like to take things uh, a little more seriously than I do. And, and ain't nothing wrong with that. I just, I am a fan of, uh, let's watch me figure out for three days how to uh, do the, how to, how to make bean juice. We were, we were streaming uh, Hyperscape yesterday with no knowledge either and I, I think there was something I, I felt it was a little charming like exploring the game together and learning about everything as we went there's there's a lot of fun little aha moments that you get to have and everyone sort of gets to have them together which is nice like when we finally uncover Mead's dark secret that's buried underneath my farm But who knows, it's probably just going to be like rotten spaghetti that she threw out. Who knows? I don't know what constitutes a crime in Oobtown. Perhaps it's not the bodies of victims. Perhaps it's the bodies of her, uh, her past lives and all the work she did to get to where she is buried underneath the ground so she never has to be reminded of how difficult she had it in the past. Because that's what I keep buried in my backyard. Uh, we're going to finish up our energy here on these trees and such so that by the time everything finishes growing... Actually, let's go make sure that no other uh, rain plops dropped uh it it absolutely is it's like it's very close to the sort of uh the farming is is very close to to uh stardew valley is what i think of a lot when i've been playing it especially with the sort of like friendship you can build with everyone i don't think there's relationships it'd be neat but I, as of right now i haven't ran into any sort of relationships but definitely the farming aspect, the, the management, all of that feels very Stardew Valley. And, the, I mean, the Ooblets, it's, it's hard to deny it's Pokemon. It's always Pokemon. Exactly. Like, everyone is... The game is so charming and weird and obscure, but, like, everyone is real. Everyone is incredibly real in this game. And it's almost scary how real they are sometimes, because it's... It's not a reality that's normally presented. It's a very uh, 
sort of postmodern, like millennial Gen Z reality. And so like all the characters are very representative of that. Yeah, Stardew Valley really is like hardcore Animal Crossing, honestly. I I mean, you can die in it, so that's about as hardcore as it gets, right? I find, and like, I don't know, Animal Crossing doesn't really have a focus on the sort of farming. And, and, <sighs> Animal Crossing always feels more like a sort of like lifestyle and design simulator more than an actual like farming simulator. Because all you can really do is grow your, uh, I mean, money trees, regular trees, and, and flowers. Yeah, exactly. So, it's it's interesting. And then, uh, the I really like the dance mechanic. I, I don't know if you've gotten to see it yet. Uh, but it's... <laughs> yeah, you know... I, I, I wish I could donate one, but I, I am also a very broke college kid, so... I feel like there's gotta be alternatives, but I know there aren't. Uh, Taffy has a hanker for Shelbo. Oh, what if I gift them to it? Maybe that's what... Okay, we're gonna try this. Alright. We're, we're about to have one of those learning and discovering moments, everyone. Uh, okay, I have inventory space. Facebook Marketplace? Oh, I thought you were talking about using Facebook Marketplace as a streaming platform, and I was like, how the hell are you gonna do that? But you mean... I actually just graduated. Uh, my degree is in visual and performing arts, surprisingly. So, uh, I am I am a theater. I don't want to say theater kid because I'm not a theater kid. But like, I just started doing theater recently. But that is that's what my degree is in. I, I studied the arts of theater. It was uh, an interesting deviation. I originally started studying physics, but I changed my mind about a year and a half in because I didn't want to do computer work. My philosophy is try to do good while doing the least amount of harm, but also eat a lot of treebies. Fair. That seems like a A-plus philosophy. <laughs> I'm a theater adult, yes. <laughs> That is, I, you know, if only there was some sort of word that we could use to describe the sort of age group that is beyond child. Hmm. It's tricky. Uh, theater grown child? Without quests, I feel like life would have little meaning. That's true. That's why I love quest-based games. Uh, so do you think you've made the right choice to move to Badgetown? Yes. That's good. I wonder how I should feel about moving here. Milu, what you got for us today? Have you ever wondered, like, who makes all... Yeah, I mean, yeah, who does make it all? Whoever makes it has a... <laughs> this is such a shout-out to the developers. Because <laughs> they have to have a fun time making all this stuff. It's all, like, nonsense. Oh, what are you doing outside, Double? I get to hear all the gossip and dirty laundry that gets tossed around this town, and let me tell you, I could use way more drama. People need to stop being so nice. It's not good for traumatic tension. <laughs> you know, but it is good for, you know, the soul. Basil? Uh, and are the unfortunate rumors that you traveled here in the hold of a tugboat actually true? I suppose, yes. Scandalous! I have no use for this sticker, so you might want it. I also have some fertilizer. Ooh. Is it going to be, uh, Zinoka seeds? Okay. I was going to run for mayor, but I misspelled my name on the nominations sheet, and now I am the officer of your town. I sense in your kindred spirit, please have a small friendship token. What are you going to give me? Eyeball enhancers and planklet. Okay. Let's see. I do. I have an Instagram, I and I'm on Reddit as well. I should, and, and Twitter, I suppose. Uh, I, I've been trying to get better at using social media. I'm pretty bad at it, but I've been improving. 
So uh, my Instagram is where I, I post the most, and you can follow me over at Gafocker. It should be the same name as it is here. I should post a link of that in my bio, though. That's a good point. As payment for your social investment, I'd like a sticker. Dun, 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 dun. I'll shoot you a follow back, too. And once you get streaming, I will absolutely come check that out as well, because I, I love seeing what people do. Catch eight things with a sea dangler. Uh, our, our lovely Don't Give a Buck is also a streamer, if you want to check his stream out sometime, too. He is way better at games than I am, too. So I, I, I do wholesome bullshit, but he does, like, actual let's play games and be good at it. Which he'll deny. He'll deny right away. But thank you so much, Boo. You are my favorite. All right. We're going to do some fishing today. I know we can catch some... Uh... <laughs> See, I told you he'd deny it. Uh, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep some, stay soggy. All right. Uh, Gafocker is pretty much the tag I use on everything, though, so if, if you're ever curious, you can always just shoot, shoot a search on that on any platform. <laughs> See, now I'm setting some expectations, so if they do go follow you and watch your stream, the, you, you have a standard to live up to now. Ooh, we got some nernies. All right. And you can always just say you're having a bad day if you're not doing great, right? That's what I say. Some speedy grow. That'll help us finish up everything. If we can get a couple more of those, we should be able to clear out our farm today and, and do some restructuring. Some more speedy grow. Dum, 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 dum cap which will make us some more bait all right oh we got a pop top that's what it's called uh we'll go ahead and call that oh we're, we're just gonna fish again we weren't going to but we pushed the button anyways so why not another shiny bit let's we'll save we're gonna save some bait just in case we get another mission to come back and fish We'll throw these bad boys on there. Uh, we should have uh, pop tops. Yes, there they are. Uh, let's go check out the other club and see what we need for them. What do we need for you right now, Milda? Do you think there are any ooblets who can talk? People uh, probably would have seen one by now. Maybe someone. Maybe they can and they just have nothing to say to us. What if we're talking ooblets? Have you ever. Oh my god! The mayor said earlier some ooblets level up to a point that they grow too large to walk through doors. What if we are talking ooblets? Maybe we're ooblets that have engaged in enough dance battles to gain sentience. Maybe that's why all the ooblets follow us. Bring us four frobtos. Okay. You know, I'm I'm starting to think there's there's some deep deeper sh stuff going on here with these ooblets. Uh, and we can do another dance tournament. Ooh. What? Why? This is so weird. Why is there no silhouettes except for the third one? I, I think they got some bugs going on with the tournaments here. Uh, Gumble. Who do we want to fight Gumble with? I think we just bring in Sidekey. Let's try to get Sidekey to level 10 and see if it's the cap. All right. Well, we'll play our next move twice, and then we'll stun this poor sucker for four turns. And this is signatures only, which means we're going to have four turns of them not operating. Oh, it doesn't stack. That's so sad. Uh, we have no signatures in which we can gain points here. All we can do is run the timer out and see what happens in a tie. That's unfortunate. Well... And it doesn't rebuff, so actually, I don't think we're going to get this. Because they're going to get unstunned and get a turn next turn, probably. While we're stuck here, just repeatedly stunning. Awesome. I'll shoot you a follow back as soon as I check it. Uh, yeah, we don't have... This was a bad play. We should have paid attention to this battle mode. Um, I guess we're just going to keep spamming this until it kicks us out of the game, right? Dun-dun. 
Dun. And it doesn't look like they're ever going to come become immune. All right, this is the final round. <laughs> no one did anything. That's sad. All right, their turn. Oh, I lose. Okay, so in the event of a tie, I lose. That's tragic. Well, there's always tomorrow. Do I lose the whole day because of that? Oh, that's rough. So we really have to pay attention to the style of the fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I use my personal one for everything, so I just... You know, I do a lot of weird stuff, and I figure it's just easier to have. It's super rude to ask someone's what club. Aw. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I never joined a club since you've been so cool. Uh, Yeah, so I just do everything from one account. I just find it easier. Uh, I, I have a hard time managing. I have a couple other accounts for some other things I do, and I can't, I can't keep up with managing more than one account. So for my personal stuff, I just use my own. Which means there's a cross, there's, you'll see a lot of stuff posted on there. There'll be stuff about uh, my streams, but then there'll also be some other uh, uh, bullshit that I'll post every once in a while. <laughs> I was never used to Oobnet back when it was around, but I'd sure like to try it. Well, we can't go to nowhere yet, so. Don't shuffle me. Okay. Always insightful, Taffy. Let's see what Churls has to say today. I, I feel like we're going to get some good wisdom from Churls today. What do you have? What deep cuts do you have for us? How am I supposed to clean badges? Well, I mean, it's not what I was expecting. That's for sure. I feel like Churls has this very waxing and waning uh, sort of system that he's got going some days he's very much uh uh the the illuminati society is trying to control us yes okay so giving gifts just progresses our friendship it looks like which is unfortunate but also really good to know that gave us a huge boost actually it wasn't a short amount all right do we have yes Get these fartichokes here. Nothing there. Uh, let's go ahead and put some speed grow on a couple of things. See if we can't finish up our farm here. Uh, boom. That's got one day left. Boom. Now it's got 2.5 days left. Or 0.25 days. Maths are hard. All right. Let's hawk another one on there. Now it's done. All right. Boom. Weed these. Make sure there's nothing under them. And now we got all these, which are done. We've only got like one or two more. Well, that one, that one's got 0.25. By the end of today, I think we will have all of our farm done. So we can start looking at restructuring it. All right. Let's go ahead and smash. Oh, we haven't talked to Mead yet. What else do we have? Win a dance. Oh. Uh, collect an uncommon oublet seed. You know, those are all unfortunate. I don't I don't think we're going to worry too much about them. We're just going to go talk to Mead, because why not? I, I want to learn her darkness. Smash some things, though, real quick. We're going to have to we're going to have to spend a couple of days setting up this farm, I'm sure. We want to hit Q. That's the button we're looking for. And we are now at uh, one of two clothlets. So we can make six, uh, which means we need 90 nernies and 12 clothlets. So we're almost at the nernies. 12 cloth lets would cost us 120 wishes. I don't know if that's worth it. I think we just grow them, right? I think they take three days to grow, which isn't terrible. Ah, oh, mead. That's what we were doing. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Uh, and what do we have on sale today? Ooh, we'll definitely buy this muzz while it's on sale. 
We need tons of muzz right now. And we can sell fart chokes. The sun sure is spicy today. Uh, I have a sure SN7B. It's it's a very nice one. I I do a lot of podcasting and and voice work, so I, I invested in a in a mic. <laughs> it's it's pretty much one of the the best ones you can buy for for sort of commercial work like this. I don't know how the quality sounds on your end, but hopefully good. I, I do recommend, though, uh, Blue Yeti is a great sort of starter mic. I used that one for a while and then uh, started to, to work a little more professionally on some stuff, so I wanted to upgrade the quality of my main microphone. Uh, what do we need for these? Uh, Muzz flower. Okay. Let's see here. We could get Oop Coop level 4. But we're also still growing to level 3. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. It's it's really hard to monitor myself through Twitch. So <laughs> I, I never know exactly what it sounds like coming out. I, I can hear myself through my own monitors. But eventually, at some point, you become desensitized to that. So I did have one stream where I, I attempted to hear what the stream sounded like and forgot that I was also... Uh, exporting my audio from my headphones and so the audio was coming in from the stream and then back out the headphones so it just created this awful feedback loop and since then I've resided myself not to listening to myself on Twitch unless I'm doing it from a different platform <laughs> alright we have uh, I suppose we can what do I need to pick these up do I just remove there we go remove. Uh, that one can stay for now. We'll remove these guys. That's really smart. I should probably do that. Uh, then I can avoid things like this Monday when I accidentally streamed a black screen for four hours. Which I, I think honestly is kind of hilarious. But there are lots of little technical things that you don't realize you have to look for when you first start. Dun, 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 dun. And learning that balance is, is a little tricky. It's probably been one of the most difficult things, honestly. Oh, we have one more here that's 0.75 days. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow for that. But I think we can start setting up. Does this let us put these on the outside anywhere? Maybe all the way over here. No. Okay. So I think what we want to do first is our big ones, right? And I... All right, let's see. So that covers up that much. It's a one, two, three, four, five, a five by five grid. So two, three, four, five, but then that takes us out of the boundaries. So we need a smaller one for this end. Hmm. I do I do not like that it lets us place things outside of the boundaries. Hmm. Well, let's start up top, because this is where I, I'd rather not have to run five miles every time I want to plant something. Boom. So we have that one. Here will be our second one. Boom. And that gets us to these two logs. So here will be our third one. Three. Smash that. Place that one down. And now we have a little square of three. So our best bet for that is probably going to be these little baby ones, right? Yeah, that's per... Uh, no, even that, actually, because we are going to... Uh, one, two, three, four... So we're here, right? In theory? Yeah, we're right there. So it's just this last row. So I guess what we need then is... A basic sprinkler. And we want to shoot that... 
down this way, right? Oh, oh and Ooblet's doing something there. Get out of there, Ooblet. So many lump stumps. Alright. So we'll put our last one here. So now we have this whole front section is available. So maybe I'll make this row my oublet row. Because it's kind of an awkward row, I think. And these should do three. So this should be where our next one needs to be put, right? Yeah. So we'll go here. Place. Boom. And we'll grow our oublets in little pods of three. I feel like this is probably perfect, because we don't want to grow too many oublets at one time, I don't think. And this lets us separate, like, these can be our uncommons growing, and these can be our commons growing, and these can be our gleamies, should our gleamies ever choose to grow, if we find them. Alright. So we're going to get all this area set up now. Oh, we need to take a nap. Farming is hard work. We're constantly exhausted. But, we're going to be able to plant a lot of great stuff after this. We'll be able to get whole rows just like dedicated to each plant. Because we have five technically right now. Or five rows that we can do, so... I, I kind of regret building these smaller sprinkles because I don't really know what to do with them now. But... Because I'd rather just use the big ones, honestly. I mean, I'd rather just use coops, but that ain't going to happen for a hot minute. So we'll just set up things with sprinklers for now. We can definitely get more sprinklers than we can coops until we find some gleamies. But I think this setup's going to be a lot better for us. Alright. Sleep till the morning. Boom. Level 8. Let's see if we got anything cool for that. I don't know. Usually when we level up, we get a few more things in here. So, just bigger farm faster run speed. We've had all these still. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and get... I still just want to buy obsidian, but we need cloth light just as much now, so maybe we'll find obsidian in that time. Oh, we do get this sweet little clay boy when we get even more oublets this time. Hmm. I wish we could buy obsidian with actual gummies rather than just uh, yeah, you're not getting that. Sorry, Basil. Um, rather than just wishes. That would be nice, but I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Alright. So this will be nice, because we'll never have to take care of these plants either, other than just, like, weeding them. So. And what we'll do is we'll set up, uh, from the back coming forward, I think we'll set up our, our oublet coops. And that way, eventually, we'll meet in the middle. I don't know if that's a good plan, but it seems like a plan, so... And it prevents us from having to reorganize things constantly. At least temporarily. Uh, we will probably just get exhausted tilling today, though, so... Uh, once we break this rock, however, let's go make sure we get our dance battle done, right? And not mess it up this time. We're going to pay more attention. It's a learning process. We we may not have known last night, but we know tonight to make sure to see what the competition is. I had my little shop here for so many years that the town itself feels like my own garden. I get to watch all the people grow and flourish, and I hardly ever need to commit extracurricular activities anymore. See, there it is again. I hardly ever need to commit... Not engage in or do, but commit extracurricular activities. That's murdering people. She's talking about murdering people once again. Why was she murdering so many people in her past? Was she a serial killer? Mead had to have been a serial killer, right? 
Uh, my dad said I should figure out how to monetize my love for nature and adventure. Uh, how do you monetize nature? I don't really know. You know, uh, create an oil company? That seems like monetize nature 101. But who knows? <laughs> yeah, this game is dark as hell. There's there's so many subtle things. It, it would not surprise me. I'm pretty sure she's a serial killer. Uh, since I wouldn't put it past you to not know this, you can use... Yeah, I already know that, Basil. Jeez. What do you think of me? Obviously not much. All right. Let's see what we have here. Uh, no, re I think we've gotten all the hairstyle recipes, it seems. So, I do feel like we need a cuter outfit to match our bear hat, honestly. People first settled these parts, prospecting for mass market individually wrapped baked goods. Interesting. That's the buns. The buns. Apparently they didn't do well enough. Double what you got. Would you rather be really popular or really rich? Uh, hmm. Purple is an interesting answer here. I don't know what purple means in the sense of being popular or rich. Does it mean popular and rich? Porple? Porple? Popurple? Uh, you know, I'd rather be really poor and uninvolved. <laughs> Kids these days. Uh. All right, what do we have for our clubs? Let's check them out. I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. Video. Initial studies have indicated that friendship is based on reciprocal assistance. I guess. Which is why I'm giving you this. Error. Give item snuggle sack. Thanks, you, video. That's very friendly of you. I know how much you like snuggle snacks. So this is the most my character has ever said. This is, like, I've not said more than, like, one line of dialogue to anyone in this game. But that's so sweet, and I, I like that I took the time to appreciate Vidion Snuggle Snack. Uh, I know I have... No, I don't have any Zanukas right now. And I probably won't be getting any today. See, and this... I, I love this game, too. I think it's so charming that, like, the way you interact with everyone is so unique to everyone and their needs and it's not just like this is how we behave in this society it's like well you you are a different kind of person than milieu Vidion, so i'm gonna talk to you differently than i talk to milieu because i want to show you that i actually like care about who you are i wanted you to have a friendship sticker to show my appreciation for the hairstyles oh that's sweet i got a bow tie and a planklet we're friends right sure it's cool we're in this group, but it's not like an in-group. Everyone else has their in-groups, but we're just us against them all. I don't know about all that. <laughs> See, like, I wouldn't say that to, to Vidion. I'd agree with Vidion. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Rugnolia, what you got? How'd that discovery go? Oh yeah, that discovery. It turns out that faster than light travel isn't at all that useful when you don't have anywhere practical to be. Also, with a 38% chance of turning you into an evil, mustachioed villain of yourself, uh, it's probably not worth it. That's fair. Uh, I'll be subjecting my findings to the major science journals. That's that's fair. It seems like a high risk to become a, uh, an evil, mustachioed version of yourself. Is that what happened with Wario and Mario? Was Mario experimenting with faster than light travel and accidentally created a Wario? Oh, shit. Is that how he passes through the pipes so fast? Has Mario been exploiting the space-time continuum? This is insane. I think we're on to something here. What's up, the bit boss? Right? We this is this is some like fucking deep deep state stuff we're getting into. We're we're about to crack it wide open. I am expecting any moment now for like uh uh for for 
Mario to just come knocking down my door and, and, and topple my head. Uh, we will, we will, however, keep ourselves busy with a dance-off. All right. What do we have today? Signatures only. Okay. We need characters with a good signature move. Uh, we're facing Rad Lad, so he doesn't have any stuns or anything. So I think, uh, I think this is the way to go. All right. Because this should just be a bunch of, like, gain hype and smash face. I, I really, you know, I really appreciate it. I'm a big fan of lurking. That is, <laughs> that is my, my signature move. Ooh, after 20 points, earn, earn 20 points after three. So they're going to win the game in three turns. So we have three turns to earn 20 points. It's like, it's like the, the person who just kind of stands in the, in the back of the, the party, you know, just kind of chilling. It's not like, it's not like they're, yes, it is dance battle time, baby. It's not like they're doing anything wrong, you know, we're just kind of lurking and chilling, you know? It's, it's about observation. We want to know what's going on, find the right moments to sort of squeeze in there. All right, we've won our first battle. Uh, that is exhilarating. Nice moves out there. Slick. I, I do love the eyes in that. All right. We got some more wishies from that. Uh, number two. So we now have two ooblets we can bring in. I don't know what this oogie boogie looking dude does. But I know the plant. This guy, I believe, steals our signatures. So we've got to be careful who we bring in or they're going to get our signatures. So we, I don't think we want to bring in someone with a lot of hype. We don't want to bring in someone with a lot of fluster. Stuns aren't terrible, I don't think. Hmm. I think we want to bring in Clicky Claws and Clomper. Let's try that. We might get railed by whatever this Oogie Boogie dude does. Oh, this was a bad matchup. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. This actually might be perfect. Because we can stun them both the entire time. While also maintaining a single point every round. I don't know if we have... An but we also gain a hype, too. I don't know if we have enough rounds to actually pull this off. But we might have accidentally stumbled on some genius here. We're going to get two points, then three points, then four points, uh, etc. So I can't tell you how many turns it's going to take us exactly. Oh, that one costs five. Or three. Oh, that's still right. Yeah. Three, four, and then zero, zero. Perfect. So yeah, we're just going to, we're going to chain stun some folks. And then just ride our way with, with like three points every turn so we're gonna go to five so two five next turn we're gonna go up to nine uh, and then we're gonna go up to oh what just happened did we just stun our own guy oh we had different oh we had different abilities this turn and we didn't actually look at what we had that's unfortunate well, this might not actually work out in our favor if we're going to get things that don't mean we can consistently get hype. All right, we'll try, though. We'll try. <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, all right, there's another hype for us. This is a dumb comp that we came in here with. Uh, we do have three points and two. Okay, so we're not going to be able to stun both of them this turn. I do think we want to stun the guy who can steal our abilities, though. Oh, stun the opposing team for one turn. Oh, that's the only one we need to be casting. That stuns their whole team. Gotcha. Well, then. We'll just go ahead and keep hitting that one up. And we're getting it every turn, so. We also haven't been prompted that we only have X turns left. But it only prompts, prompts it the last two turns, so... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why it's three. Uh, steal nine points. You don't have any points for me to steal, you unfortunate saps. 
battle will end in two rounds. So we need to get uh, eight points in two rounds. Well, there's six. Oh, this is the final round. Shoot. Well, now we're about to find out that if it rewards whoever has the most. Which hopefully feels like the appropriate thing to do. Yes, okay. So that is a good comp to bring in anytime we have this matchup. Because all we need is the one point and we'll win. Feels a little unfair, honestly. <laughs> but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. No complaints. Uh, that was exhilarating. Nice moves out there, Slick. All right. Let's get hyped for this last one. Uh, I mean, I think we bring in at least... Uh, we at least bring in Clomper, right? Because that's going to get us that, that team stun. Which then means we can probably bring in Lump Stump to get points. And... Uh, as a backup, we can bring in our little Peter Porker here, who can set us up to win in one turn. I think that's the play. All right. So we have stun target for two turns. Hmm. I don't trust this guy. This guy doesn't have a face you can trust. I think we have to stun him. Dun, dun, dun. And then we'll gain three points and some hype now that we actually have some point generation. And we'll stun this little Clefairy. And we'll see what we left them with. Uh, apparently nothing. That was perfect. So steal... Ah, oh, they're not... Alright. I think we just smash some fluster onto them. We'll try to lock them out through fluster as well. Okay, add one turn, warm up. Uh, and that's going to add three more fluster. I think that's the play. Hopefully we can just lock them out of scoring anything realistically with enough fluster. I think that... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what bad abilities! Holy crap! It's all just chance! You have no control over what he actually does! Oh, I need that character so bad! It even gave us the points even though they had Fluster still. Oh! We're gonna keep stacking Fluster on him, but... <laughs> Start with two extra beats next turn. <laughs> I don't even know the real value that it's supposed to be giving. Well, we got 15, and we were at 9, so that means it gives you 6. His ability has a 50-50 chance to give either team 6. That's insane. And even, even with the fluster... It still gives us the points. That feels bad. We're going to leave him open. <laughs> oh, earn eight points after four turns of warm-up. Okay, we'll just stun you. And now you can't earn your points. <gasps> All right, uh, let's actually earn... Oh, we don't have anything to earn some points. We'll discard a random card and get a new ability. That's such a good move, honestly. Yeah. Because then it doesn't matter if you're if you're giving them the points because you're just going to steal them right back. He'd be very good on a team with Lump Stump here. All right. Uh, I, I like the way you think. These are these are some like deep level combos that I have not even even constructed in my head yet. I I'm very much a proprietor of like I have to like see the cards in front of me to see how they interact. <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> oh. 
I would not expect it to give me the points when they have the fluster still. But I will take it. And it's that's really good too because if you're stealing it it prevents you from getting like locked out by flustered. Not that I I think the enemies actually have that sort of AI capability. We've only been decimated by one group so far. I thought I had that one, but oh well, nice work. All right, we did it. We won another tournament. We do love a wipeout, honestly. I, there, there's something really satisfying about just like I, I was having this conversation with uh, David the other day the co-host of my podcast about roguelikes and the idea that sometimes it's just really fun to get to do something completely broken and we just we love that so much I don't know I think there's something so charming about just like finding a combination of things that makes you feel really good in a game I bet if I painted racing stripes on my balloon, it could go 20 or maybe 30% pa faster. I support this. I'll bring the paint. All right. Have we talked to Churls today? Did he have anything insightful to say? We have not. What do you have to say, Churls? What deep wisdom are you going to give to us? I feel like I'd get way more business if people didn't wear all the same clothes every day around here. Probably true. Uh, maybe there's... Ooh! Look at these! I like these leggies. Let's get these leggies. We need a new look for our little bear hat. Let's get some leggies. Boom. Oh, we can't see them with our dress. We need a new shirt, though. This shirt does not match at all. Our black hoodie kind of does. But I'm feeling a little... Hmm... Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap it for now. If we can find a cooler shirt, maybe like a striped sweater or something. Something to add a little more color, make us pop. We're looking a little down in the dumps right now. Alright. We've already talked to Mead. What's for sale? Oh, we do need these. We'll pick up a stack of these while we're here. Our pockets are always full. Ugh, why don't we have deeper pockets? We'll sell the shell. Boom. Now we can get it. Maybe. Dun, dun, dun. Nope, pockets are still full. How many do we need to sell? Oh gosh, we need to sell four things. Okay. Uh, oh, we can equip some oublet stuff. What accessories do we have? Oh, we have a oh, we have a witch hat for our oublets. Oh, we gotta put the witch hat on dumb bird, right? I think we have to. I said every millionaire ever. <laughs> uh, we have a witch hat, and uh, that's a bad look. Oh, but my pockets are full, so I can't remove it now. Dumb bird has a dumb look. All right. Bum, 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 bum. We do need to take a nap, too. Yeah? You like it? Are you feeling it? See, I'm, I'm on the fence about it. I, I, I think it's the, the bow tie that I don't like. But if, if you're saying it's working, I'll trust you. It, it feels like it, it detracts from the statement. It feels like we're no longer... See, Dumbbird just looks like they're trying too hard to be smart now, which I guess is a good look for Dumbbird. Uh, yeah, we will drop down our house here, too. And we also still have one more sprinkler, which I just realized. Uh, we want to put this house here. Boom. And then that means our other sprinkler goes here, here. Pop that. Pop that. Look at this farm we got. It's overboard in the best sense. Okay. I'm going to trust your judgment as my resident fashion expert. And we're going to leave Dumbbird uh, looking a little overboard. 
in the best sense. All right. Now do we have the inventory space? No, still not. Let's drop off some more things. Oh, we do have some more equipment we can put on our oublets here. Uh, Wiggle Whip. I feel like Wiggle Whip and, and Peter Porker are probably best of friends and have matching hats, right? They look like they've been... Uh, Forced to sit in the back of the classroom together, unfortunately. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's drop off a seed here. Oh, that stacks. Okay, seeds. I see how it is. All right. Uh, Tamlin seed. All those look the same. Uh, and I still have no space for anything. This is kind of rough right now. Inventory management is not easy in this game. We can huck these cans in the... All right, now we should have some space. We need, oh, we should take a nap while we're in there too. Get a little bit more energy to start planting. Once we get some stuff growing here, we should be able to get a lot further. We, we are going to have to, unfortunately, wait for an update to take us to nowhere, which sucks. But until then, we can work on creating our sweet little production hell. And get get our, our sort of farming on point. You know? Oh, they're still full? Oof. All right. Try to become the first uh, gummy trillionaires in Ooblet Town. Badge Town. What do you got, Tinstall? I feel like issuing a new ordinance. What sort of thing should I ordain? You should declare that all Ooblets should be pet once a day. You could make some new local holidays like Yop Day. What's an ordinance? Or you could institute a walk backwards day once a week. Hmm. You know... Local holidays would go a lot in sort of raising public morale. I think oublet, pet, petting oublets once a day would do a lot for sort of oublet human relations and probably help sort of uh, the the humane treatment of oublets sort of uh, solidify their, their sort of ideology, you know? And then you could institute a backwards day, a walk backwards day once a week, which I think just adds a general level of chaos to the town and would definitely foster social interactions because you're going to be bumping into each other. And I think that sort of level of chaos is what I'm all about. That might spice up the local economy indeed. Uh, and I'm just realizing now that my character has no ability to walk backwards. So I think I have just doomed myself to be sort of a a a, a pawn to the to the prison industrial system in game as soon as I get arrested because I cannot walk backwards. I'm getting flustered. Oh, Taffy. How can I help? Why are you flustered? Uh we still need more inventory space. Which is quite unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be getting any anytime. Oh, we'll huck that in there. Why not? What else do we have? Fruit tooth for baking. We can't turn in any of those. Visit Moss Sprouts and talk about Outgrid? What is that? What does that even mean? Visit Moss Sprouts. Okay, so that's... That's the club... Open Moss Sprouts Clubhouse. These are all complete. Reopen the Wildlands. Send another gift basket. Open the Peak Snubs Clubhouse. Is Moss Sprouts gonna be the nowhere or nowhere? Oh, you're gonna have to report me to PETA. We didn't go with it. We want we 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 want that chaos. See, that's the thing, is is we can we can give everyone the choice to pet ooblets, and we can sort of make it, uh, we, we can shun folks in society for not petting their ooblets once a day, you know? But 
instituting a walk backwards day just really adds that sort of level of of just energy we're looking for the town, you know? But but what can I say, you know? I, I honestly haven't been petting my ooblets once a day, so you know, maybe I'm just looking for the for the best policy that fits me. But we all know we we've we've now found out I can't walk backwards, so it really isn't the best policy for me. So I don't know who this policy is for, but we will get some stuff planted, however, because that'll clear us up a little inventory space. Three. Pop that. Four. All right. All right, we were almost perfect. We could use two more fluties there. Uh, we will plant some sweet beets, though. And get this whole row to be sweet beets. Oh, we're going to tucker ourselves out planting. But this should clear up the inventory space we've been looking for. I, I don't know why we didn't think of this sooner. Oh, man, but we have so many seeds. There's not going to be a lot of sort of structure to this, but it is it is at least better looking. I, I'd like to dedicate just like a row to each, but I think right now, because of inventory limitations, we more so just have to get everything laid out. Otherwise, it's just going to take up too much space. Because we have what? Like four things of seeds right now? One, two... We can use our grow, our, our stay soggy, and our stay soggy extra sog. Uh, we do have a lot of oublet seeds we can plant, cloth plant. Yeah, we have we have a ton of seeds right now. Frubtus, I don't think. All of this box is just oublet seeds, which really sucks. All right. Let's get these planted. Boom. And then let's get all this muzz in there, because we need a ton of muzz anyways. I do like that we're not really going to have to pay attention to our garden, though. Yeah, that's a little helpful. Uh, unfortunately, though, we are not going to get everything planted today. Because we are already out of space. And energy. Boom. Boom. Okay. I think we might be able to take one more nap before night kicks in. And we are just on about on two o'clock, so we might we might call it after this day as well. Uh, un unfortunately, my corporeal form does need sleep as much as it tries to protest and keep me up until six a.m. Anyways. Uh, I, I do like to try to force it to get some sleep. Alright. Fight the power, right? But I can't. I can't. It's all-consuming. The power is everywhere. It is, it is us. We are the power, and we can't fight ourselves. Relish in the mini-death. Oh, man. I don't know. It sounds exhausting. Relishing in the life alone is hard enough. Relishing in the death just sounds even harder. But thank you all so much for tuning in. I, I really appreciate it so much. Uh, tomorrow I'll be streaming over on our other channel, The Bundle Bourgeoisie, if you want to check it out. I think it's hosted to be on this channel anyways. So we'll be streaming 10 to 2, uh, just like today. And, yeah, we're, we're Monday through Friday, 10 to 2, and uh, normally on Thursdays we'd be doing some super weird shit, but uh, we, we ran into some technical difficulties today, so we decided to play Oublet. But thank you all for checking in. I, I love you all. You're all incredible human beings, and, and stay safe, sleep well, enjoy your nights and your lives, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>